Yes. Hello, everybody. Ah, we are here with Scarlet. That's what we're playing. I saw people asking. We're gonna be playing Pokemon Scarlet. How's everyone doing? What's up, Dora? Shadow Onyx. What's up, Wheel Magic? It is not Monday. Pokemon Day is still gonna happen Monday, but we get to play first today because the game just came out. So, excited for all this. Um, also, I know probably the least about this game than I have any new Pokemon game. Like, I feel like I knew more about Arceus and, uh, uh, like, Sword and Shield more than I know about this one. So, I'm excited. This is going to be as much reaction-y side of things as it can be, really. Because I, I know of the three starters. I don't know what their second or third tiers look like. Um, I know of... These guys, only because they were on the cover art and stuff, so we also put them on on this. Um, I don't know what types they are. I don't know what types of starters get. Um, some kind of pig. I know something about a pig. Other than that, I don't think I know anything else. I think that's all. So, I'm gonna be hopefully finding all kinds of new Pokemon. Um, I don't even know the name of the land that we're in. <laughs> so, I'll be learning that as well. Um, and then, um, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh, I don't know what it was. Too excited. The, um, hopefully everything works okay today and everything. Uh, everyone's pretty much out, so it's just me. Eric was gonna try to stop in. Um, Eric has gotten sick and not feeling well. That's why we didn't have the Donkey Kong. That's why he didn't have God of War. That's why he wasn't in Stargirl. And then, um, uh, Calvin isn't feeling well either, so he's not around. Melanie was going to join in with me, but uh, this morning, uh, late last night, early this morning, uh, some of the kids started feeling sick and stuff too, so she's home with it. So, in a weird off chance that I just take off off screen, I might not feel well. I don't know. So right now I feel okay. I'm not worried about anything right now. Audio's cutting off a little bit. We'll uh, look at that and see what the issue might be. Trying to make sure everything's good. Audio was weird and audio was clipping. Could be just the mic, maybe. Oh. All right, well, I'll wait a second to try to make sure things are a little better with that. Um, also, this week I had my uh, wisdom teeth taken out, so um, I may have to take a break here or there to do a. Uh, Mouth rinse for that. I also have amoxicillin and stuff too to try to make sure that it heals properly and is all good. But I'm still here. My right side's a little swollen. So hopefully I don't talk weird or anything, but otherwise, things are pretty good. All right. What did we do with the pole? What, did we, what are you guys playing? Uh, only three. The bottom, right, uh, bottom left one, um, I had a molar removed way back in high school for some reason i forget what had happened and uh that was like my farthest back molar and that wisdom tooth has like pushed in front and has uh kind of filled in where that was so they said that one they were going to leave where it was but the other three we did all at the same time because one was in a uh one was like along a nerve and they wanted me to have it surgically removed so they just did all three at the same time and i told them that i wanted the least amount of needles and they told me that they would still have to use all the needles that they had to use, but I would only be aware of one of them. So I went with that route. Hmm. All right. Um, was there anything else that I wanted to say about Pokemon? Hmm. I'm gonna be playing this Monday and Tuesday as well. And then Eric will be back with God of War. Um, Hopefully tomorrow, and then also Wednesday. So Wednesdays and Saturdays, you're going to be seeing God of War. Mondays and Tuesdays, you're going to be seeing Pokemon. We'll still have our podcast and stuff on Thursdays. Um, group streams on Fridays. However, next week is going to be Thanksgiving, so there won't be a Thursday or Friday podcast. Um, but we are going to be putting Badonkagonk on Wednesday at, like, noon. So it'll be another in-the-middle-of-the-day thing. But with the uh, Thanksgiving break and stuff, it was a little tricky. Um, yeah, no podcast. Don't think what happened at least, so. Um, also, the highlights for this, 
um, are planned to be released over on the Pokemality channel. So uh, you should find the Twitch VODs and stuff still on the Twitch archive and everything for, uh, for Twitch and for YouTube. But uh, once the highlights are done for this and everything, if you miss out on anything and you want to see those, uh, there's also going to be some of the some old card opening things that I've had backlogged that I've had an editor so kindly helping and working with me on. And we'll start releasing some of those and stuff too. And uh, my goal is that in January when Scarlet Violet TCG comes out, we are all caught up, all caught up and uh, able to do uh, more card openings and more Pokemon stuff over on Pokemality. So that's the current plan for that. But at the very least right now, you should see some stuff. Thank you to, uh, Thank you to my editor, who is in chat right now, for the card stuff, and also, uh, I don't know if the other editor is here. Basically, it's Pong helping with card stuff and Rob helping me with uh, the highlights for this here. So, anything else? Is that everything? Should we play this game? Should we see what happens? We'll switch to that one. Oh, I'm currently just sitting at a... Uh, let me see here. <gasps> Pong, did you know I want outed? I want out you. Uh, it wasn't Pong. I, I miss. I meant, I meant ping. That's what I meant. All right, let's switch over to the game. All right. Sound okay? Is everything good? Can you guys hear and see? I also know there's something different or weird or something with, uh, what, what I do, what I did. Um, the, um, there's something different I know with gems or badges or something like that, which apparently I will know when I get to it and then there will be some changes then too, so. Is that everything else I know? Yes, I think so. Everything's good, are we ready to start? John Cena, we haven't had John Cena since Sun and Moon. All right, um, let's pick a, I don't know, this kid, I guess. What's my name? What's your name? What's your name? Tony. Change hairstyle, change look. What kind of hairstyles can I do? A side braid? Or do I just select it to actually I don't want that. Oh, look at that, okay. I don't know what starter I wanna go with, guys. Like, I know so little. Like, usually I at least know like, like maybe like a final evolution or a typing or something like that. I don't know who I wanna go with. Ooh, a pompadour, I'm gonna go with a pompadour. I like that one too. I don't want a bull cut. Space it's like, ah. Oh. Cool. There's a lot of hairstyles. All right, I'm thinking maybe the two block cut. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, yes. They hit the wrong button. Okay, what's change look do? Ooh, wow, look at all the stuff you can change. I like two. Going with two. Um, green eyes, yes. Eyelashes. And have you ever been able to change this much stuff for Pokemon? This seems like a lot. It's a lot of eyelash. <laughs> I think I might just stick with uh, the first one. That seems okay. The color. Um, that's good. There are so many eyebrows. Um, 
bushy brow. I wonder if they give you the option for a unibrow. Nope. I think I like that one. Eyebrow color. Mouth. You gotta have a good mouth. Is there, does it change if I'm happy or sad or anything? All right, how about mouth number 14? Look at my lips. Each looks good. Oh. I think beige looks pretty good. We'll go with beige. Beauty spots. Just put a beauty spot all over the place. Um, where's the closest to, where's mine, right here? On the left side? Do they have one? Like there, yeah, put that there. It's kind of like this. Um, freckles. No, no. Uh, I don't want the purpose. All right. Um, is this my person? My hair needs to be darker. I would change that. Ah, there it is. My hair, yeah, I think it's right. All right, that seem good? Green hair, green? Yeah, I'm about as blind as you could be. All right, I think we're good. I think we're gonna go with this, guys. This is my person. A little Pokeball pin. Enrollment application. Naranja Academy? I'm in an academy? Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress being automatically saved, you can disable the autosave options. Do I want to disable autosave options? I know sometimes you did and sometimes you didn't. Yeah, beard options would have been nice. Naranja Academy. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. Are we in like a private school? It's time for you to... Is that a new Hariyama? Why does he look weird? To dive into the world of Pokemon. That Hariyama looked really pale. I don't even know the... Uh, I, guarantee, I guarantee that there's going to be different... Um, region uh, Pokemon, right? I don't think I've seen any of those. Director Clavel, head of Narnja Academy. Paldea? Is that how you say it? Paldea? is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and a magnificent landscape. It's a pretty cool looking place. It is also, of course, home to mysterious creatures known as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Dude, is this the professor? Look at this guy. I love his little like, oh, what are you? Is it a monkey, a chinchilla? Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas and the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Oh, look at that Taurus! Why is he weird? And that's a muck, right? Dude, is that like a dark Taurus? While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within these walls that you will find friends. Your Pokemon up, we, I'm reading too slow. Staff N Naranja Academy can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Whoa. That guy looked a lot bigger than I thought he was. 
More birds? I think I think too, I don't know. Oh, look at the Taurus! I don't know how many Pokemon are in the game either. I know like the last one didn't have the full decks. Flamingos! There's a Flamingo Pokemon? The Aaron Pokemon, I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as I saw Flamingos. <laughs> this thing's pretty big. And it flies. And it swims. Whoa, little parrots. They might be a squawk from uh, Donkey Kong. Am I going to have to catch a, a, a flamingo, guys? Superdor immediately says I need to catch a flamingo. Did I play Legends of Arce Arceus? I did play Legends of Arceus. Uh, the VOD should be on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, I can't remember if we did a highlight for it or not. I'm not going to try to do a full female Pokemon team like before, but if things happen, they happen. Um, the only thing I didn't do in Arceus was apparently Enamorous was a Pokemon I had never seen. Um, there was stuff I should have done that I didn't do there. All right, can I get my bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time. Oh, okay, so I don't want those. Here's my Switch. Eric, what are you doing? You better be resting too. Today on Ciudad Adventures. Okay, we'll see Mesa Goza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. The city that's home to a well-known academy. Oops, better get going, okay. Um, I guess we'll go downstairs. This house is nice. Hey, Squovit. I run. Muncha. Okay. No, don't pet him again. Leave him alone. There's mom. Man, this house is huge. Good morning, Aaron. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it's your first day at the new school after all. So excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here for a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Okay. It's the very thing I'm waiting for, Aaron. Get the door, would you? I want to run. You're not supposed to run the house. I didn't even answer the door. You forgive the intrusion. You are Master Aaron, yes? Sure. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Oh, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. So I wonder if he's like the same thing as like the professor or if he's more of like, what was his name, Rose? The director, and you came in person to help with my son's first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. I'm a master, rookie. I'm a master. Goodness, you really needn't have. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Aaron, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Uh, why don't you head back up to your room, finish getting ready for school. You'll need your bag and your hat. Isn't the mom always single? Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Um, in Pokemon, what was it, Gen 3, our dad was a, a gym leader. I think it's the only time I remember having a dad. I haven't played black and white, so maybe we have a dad in that one. Gen 3, you had both parents. Yep, yep. Usually, it's just our mom. 
And in Gen 1, she's out hanging with, hanging with uh, Professor Oak. I don't... I'm not in love with that hat. So it looks like I'm going to go on like a safari or something. Press the X button for the main menu. Select save options. Pop open your bag. Okay. Let's push X. TM Materials, what's that? That's weird. Picnic items. Um, we'll have nicknames on. I'm in between wanting to nickname Pokemon or not. You can select if you want to show your Pokemon's nicknames during a link battle, okay. Oh, skip, skip cutscenes, that's cool for speedrunning. So part of me wants to nickname them just because we're doing a stream and it's fun to nickname and sometimes you guys help me nickname stuff. But on the other side of things, I don't know a lot of these Pokemon and I want to learn their names and not forget about them. Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Aaron. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see. That's the other thing I'm going to do too. I don't know if I said it, but I'm planning on trying to use new Pokemon and not using old Pokemon. Just to see what they can do and what kind of new, uh, new things are out. I might use Taurus though, like region specific ones. Good morning, Veronica. Polar bear, how are you? Do I get to pick a starter Pokemon before I go to school? Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. Yes. Provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which one among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. I don't love that it's a cat, but it's grass, and I usually do grass Pokemon a lot. Fue Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. That one's kind of cool. Craw. And Quaxly, the duckling Pokemon. Pump. They're all very good company, why they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Aaron, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my... Wait, do you not take the other two? Where do the other two go? I'll just be at the house over there, take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now if you'll excuse me until next we meet... Hmm. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take this with you uh, if you're going on your own. The Rotom Bone. Brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map by pressing Y. It'll uh, it'll help keep you from getting lost. So take good care of your new gadget. She needs one of those. Of course, she has a phone. Where are you going? Um, can I like battle with one of you and see what you're like? No, I want to talk to the duck. Duck. <laughs> Won't let me interact with the duck. There we go. Hmm. Hey, they follow me around. But 
Oh, cool. I can zoom out. Oh, I can move the camera. I didn't even try that. All right, this. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, good eye. Fue Coco, a potion. All right, Fue Coco, you brought that to my attention. Keep that in mind when I choose Pokemon later. Crocodiles are cool. Have a Fue Coco and a Feraligator. Get a water and a fire, like, crocodile. Oh, what? What? What'd you find, kitty? Did you find something? What? What are you doing? What's happening? Nothing happened. I don't understand what happened. What are you looking at? Is she one of your mom's aprons fluttering peacefully in the breeze? Okay. Now they're all just messing with me, I think. Let's walk down here. It takes a long time to walk here. Guys, I don't know who I want. I like grass Pokemon, but I don't want the cat. <laughs> but it feels wrong to pick a fire or water Pokemon. Oh, I can run. Cabo Poco, it's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Oh, what's that over there? So much better to run. Anything else around here? I like being able to move the camera. Maybe it will evolve into a dog. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. He's fixing his hair. Look at that. Excuse me. Hair was cooler. <gasps> What's the arm? Ah, oh, toasty orange. Who's that? Are you these three's trainer? Not quite. Master Aaron has yet to make his choice, you see. I think it's time. I do wonder which of them he will choose. Aww. I like the attitude of the duck. Buenas, we haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our academy's newest student, Master Aaron. He will be attending as of today. So you're the kid who moved up in the, moved in, uh, you, so you're that kid who moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Want to be friends? Sure. Love the enthusiasm. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own right. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now, you two. We'll be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates? Nice. Well, uh, we'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Master Aaron, i got to pick a Pokemon.
Hmm. This one is cute and likes food. This one has a cool attitude. And this one's grass. That's the benefits of all of them. Mm. <gasps> you can do it. Oh, you don't do the cool like Leon pose though. You just almost fall over. I don't know, guys, I go with grass almost every time. No, I thought about it too, but I'm just trying to make my decision. Melanie will probably go, wa no, she'll probably go fire. If it wasn't a cat, I would choose this one instantly. So let's just choose it anyway. Maybe it evolves into something cool. Or maybe the typing's really cool. Sprigatito, a grass type Pokemon. It can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Oh. Would you like to go with our good grass Pokemon, Sprigatito? Why do you evolve into more cats? Like I just get more. Like you have two and then five. It doesn't actually get bigger. It just is. You become cat lady. Should we nickname? Spr okay, this is the thing I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should we nickname stuff, or should I not so that I can learn the names? So many cats. I don't want. I just just the one. Don't nickname, learn the names. I'm okay with that. Whenever we do like challenge runs or nuzlocks or something like that, we'll make sure we nickname. But for this one, we'll maybe we'll nickname ones that we already know, like a Taurus. But how is he up there on my arm like that? Seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Aaron. It's your first Pokemon, yes, please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked away safely inside a Pokeball. Aaron, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. Why? I mean, like, way to make a perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Well, good. Who did you pick? Oh, you get to pick one now? Did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the academy? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Aaron while he raises his own new partner. Another splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of the Pokemon on equal footing with Master Aaron here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Do you pick fire or do you pick water? Are you my rival or like my friend? Ah, okay. Pump pump. I do like the duck. Now we've chosen a Pokemon, we have to battle on the beach. Okay, we're going to go to the beach. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. All right. Whoa. Handy wrote on phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives trainers access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon and then move to the right stick, side to side, you rotate your view with the map. Handy for getting yourself oriented. Left stick to move the magnifying glass in the map. Select location with A and you can set your destination. The flying taxi. That's good, they're back. Uh, places you've been visited before, places you can fly to are indicated with a feather mark. Whoa. We got a weasel. I guess we're going there. Uh, this way. Whoa. Whoa. Slide. And then you can stealth. Okay. Do we have to like stealth like an Arceus? It's a cool little arena here.
Anyone can be Pokemon trainer as long as they have a Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me? Yes. Perfecto. So excited for this battle. Yes, Demona. Just remember that Master Aaron is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Sure. Even though I'm Master Aaron. I'll just send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Oh, okay, I see. Guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. I wonder who her other Pokemon are. I like the look of this little Pokeball court thing. Usually it's more of a solid or like a just a white outline. I also like her little gauntlet thing. That's cool. All right, Sprigatito. What can you do? First Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Okay. Uh, leafage. Smart move, grass is strong against water. Hit him with another leafage. And we've won our first match. And we leveled up, yes. Good job, Tito. Not bad, neighbor. And we got money. Look at you winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. It's a female cat? No, that's how you get more. <laughs> I'll be able to like breathe them later though, that's cool. You got even more potential than I think. You're gonna be strong trainer for sure. But now I wanna try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. A Dwebble? It's like a little hermit cream. Master Aaron and his Sprigatito are surely wary already from the last battle. No, let's go again. I'm really sorry, Aaron. Same to your Sprigatito too. Let's battle again soon. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. I like her little, like, one strip of green hair. You do seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure you can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. The Pokedex app was added to your Rotom phone. It's an app on a phone, that's cool. Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must have for Pokemon trainers. Super handy app, our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. I have an app that tracks all my Pokemon cards, so I know which ones I have for my sets. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof, filling out a Pokedex by hand, I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh no, I suppose you can. Yet no matter how much times, uh, how much the times change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. Hope you will both work hard toward the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Aaron to the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. And I leave him in your capable hands. All right, little ones, it's time you and I were on our way. up Emily maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my pokedex along with my battling all right speaking of pokedex Aaron you're probably never you probably never caught a wild Pokemon right I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy what will we see Do you guys think we'll get more Ooh, what's this pokedex app on the run phone navigate to your pokedex by pressing X we can also just push this button 
Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex. Is that the pig? With fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. Wait, what? There are volumes? Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on a digital shelf and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing X. Press the plus button while looking at a Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex and you can check out that Pokemon's habitat and learn more about where they can be found and when they're active. Exploring different areas of your adventures or as you adventure uh, and meet tons of Pokemon. So I've seen them. Okay, Pokedex is interesting. Can I wiggle this tree? Nope. Um, there she is. And is that my mom? Mom, don't embarrass me. I hear that Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. And I read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Like a little Pokeball-like ladle thing. Now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Sandwich for mom. Thank you, mom. Dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, and other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. And maybe you'd better take these two. Five potions. Use them on precious partner. Should they get hurt in battle? I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all. The good times and the hard times, too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. Oh, all right, then. You two better head off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. We need to catch a Pokemon. Which pokey meat sandwich is that? I don't know. A slow poke tail? Your mother's so nice, Aaron. I want that gauntlet thing, but I was going to teach you how to catch a wild Pokemon. Come on. This way. We're coming. If I can move, let me move. There we go. Could be the Taurus, Taurus meat. That could be possible. All right, this here's Poco Path. Look at the pigs, what's that? Some birds. Path leads the adventure for you and Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on, a, on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one, you have to battle, but you've got Sprigatito for that, right? And if you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you got to use good old Pokeball. I've got tons. Here, have a few. Piggy meat for sandwiches. Get some pork. That could work. Look at the pig. Oink, oink. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing... Try battling this Lechonk. Lechonk, huh? All right, Lechonk. Go, Tito! You can try to catch a wild Pokemon battling, pressing X and throwing a Pokeball. When you're having a hard time catching a Pokemon, try to deal damage to it before throwing a Pokeball. Everything seems the same, so let's uh, just do a scratch. We we'll probably do another scratch, right? One more scratch. Don't crit or anything. Good. All right. Let's catch this piggy. That was quick. The animation was so fast. All 
All right, we got this chonkers. It searches for food all day. It possesses a keen sense of smell, but doesn't use it for anything other than foraging. Uh, no name. Had to my party, cool. So just a normal hog Pokemon. And I get a book for him, okay. That was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. <laughs> we can the Pokemon, throw the Pokeball. Remember that, you'll be fine. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. All right. Let's meet back up at the lighthouse over there and uh, you can see our school from the top. Pokemon you see wandering around the tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a battle will begin. You can also start the battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it using the ZR button. Try this tactic out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. So is it kind of like Arceus? Lay chunk hair? Why do I have lay chunk hair? What do I do with that? Um, what are those? Oh, it's Hop Hip. Is that what those Pokemon were earlier? Were like, not Jump Pluffs, but Skip Looms? I also don't know which Pokemon. I want to get in this bush and get whatever that is. I don't want this pig to get me. No, run! I already have a grass Pokemon. I don't really need a hop hip. Where are the fruits to? How do I get you? Oh, okay. Just climb the rock. Easy enough. Um, one more over here. I'm trying to roll and it doesn't let me roll. I'm used to Arceus. Chunks. Are the glitches as bad? Um, I mean, I don't know of any glitches yet or anything. <laughs> Who's this Pokemon? Ah, oh. I don't know this one though. Yeah, we're gonna get whatever this thing is. This monkey chinchilla thing, Pommy. Do one scratch. Thunder shock. Okay. Oh no, I'm paralyzed. All right, let's throw a pokeball. Let's catch a palmy. So this is an electric type, huh? Oh, and all my Pokemon get levels. Okay. Learn to bite. That's good. It has underdeveloped electric sacs in its cheeks. The sacs can produce electricity only if Palmy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. I wonder if it evolves. It probably evolves, right? As opposed to like uh, Emolga or something like that. Nope. Uh, this is Little Vivillion, right? Vivian? Vivian. You can move it during battle. This is cool. All right, let's catch this bug. Oh, 
I wonder how many different versions of uh, Vivian there are because in X and Y there were a ton. Any poison this Pokemon takes in is converted into black powder and secreted. That's why scatterbugs can eat poisonous leaves and roots. I don't remember what color he normally is. All right, I don't need another Lechonk. Um, what's that? What's this one? Oh, who are you? Tar Taronchula? Taronchula? Uh, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball because he seems level two pretty weak. What type is Tarantula? Bug in something? One, two, three, four, five. That's five Pokemon now, right? Its body is elastic enough to deflect the scythes of a Scyther, this Pokemon's natural enemy. Huh. That means there's Scythers around here. All right, um, I think we can fit one more Pokemon in our party then. Uh, is that... Do I want Fletchling? Talonflame's pretty cool. And it would be a fire Pokemon, yeah. Let's do that. What level are you? Um, can I bite you without you killing me? Okay. Can I bite you without me killing you? Just throw a Pokeball, see what happens. It just wiggles in the air. All right, so we have Bug Pokemon, we have a Normal type, we have a Grass type, Electric type, Fire type. How do I look at my Pokemon? Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormon hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. Okay. Oh, what's this? Prisonberry. Hey, Aaron, you get the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Let me see. So far, you've caught. Whoa, what was that? I thought she freaked out at how many Pokemon I caught. Go. I heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Aaron. Just be careful. There's kind of unsafe cave not far from here. Steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Okay. We go this way. Oh, yep. So now what? What's that? Are those Houndor? Oh no, it's injured. Ugh. You don't look very happy. Oh man, we're dead. Well, that's a short game. What? What? I didn't know the Rotom phone could save us like that. Yeep, yeep. It breaks my jumping from three feet, right? Wouldn't it be great if your phone could just float right before it hits the ground? He needs a potion. Give him a potion. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. <gasps> give him a sandwich. I don't need the sandwich. You want the sandwich, little guy? 
It's probably made of Pokemon meat. Gia. Or Gaia. You want a sandwich? You want a Sabuine sandwich? How does he say it? No ho Hank. You know no ho no Hank. No. Barry. You want a submarine sandwich? I can't say it like him. He does too good. Agias. I could have done a potion too, but I guess a sandwich works. You wanna go hide in this cave? Mom's not gonna be happy. Lechonk is a normal Twitch emote, really? That's cool. Uh oh. He's mad. What happened? What are you doing, Godzilla? Oh. What is it doing? Dude, that won't say sandwich. Huh, okay. He turned into more Godzilla E. He's still little though. Hmm. Yeah, I should have ate that sandwich. Would have turned me into some big, cool-looking Pokemon. Huh? Do you want me to follow you? Unless I can swim, I can't really go anywhere else. Can I swim? <laughs> you managed to scramble back out of the water. Okay, so... You can't do that. So let's go into this cave. Inlet Grotto. Dude, usually you don't see like the cover art box Pokemon until later. At least you don't have experiences like this. I guess Sword and Shield, you saw them kind of early on and they just disappeared, but this is neat. Oh, hey, maybe he's leading me out. Hey, are Aaron, are you okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Oh, what's this? I kind of seems like it's waiting for you to follow it. Are you gonna get me out? Whoa! What are those? Oh, those are the hound door. Might be as strong as mine, maybe even stronger. What's over there? Is that a young goose? Man. Not one of my favorite Pokemon from Sun and Moon. I have to catch him at some point, though. Ooh, a Diglett. I like Diglett. I wonder if he's a steel type or a ground type. He has no hair. Can I just capture him? Her? I haven't been paying attention, you guys. Have my Pokemon been boys or girls? It's a bald type, yep. Mm. Maybe I'll get rid of Scatterbug? I have another bug type already, and I want to keep the other one. It lives about one yard underground, where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Nope. You can add it to the party. And swap out... Oh man. But that's the only other boy one we have, or girl one we have. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think it's the best one to swap out. I'll catch a young goose just to put it in my Pokedex. Should be easy to catch, I would say. We'll just put it in the PC. Why is it the Aaron Pokemon? Because when they evolve, they're like big buff guys underneath there. Yeah. You guys all seen that? Disarming voice. Stomach fills most of its stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. Because it's bald. I guess I'm bald too underneath my hair. I want that. Why can't I go there? A little laggy there. It won't let me go over there. Ah, oh, Hound Door. There's a whole hunting room. Are they running to or away from something? Okay. I wasn't sure if they were running from something else. Whoa. He like broke their spirit. Okay. We're making progress somewhere. He has a herd of dogs. A bunch of wild dogs just running around. Move it. Guy, uh. I wonder what that move was. Aaron, look out, something's coming. What's coming? Behind you, it's behind you. Ooh, Houndoom is mama puppy. Puppy mama. Doom. All right, well, this will work. Brigatito! Dude, this thing's like a like an anime fight. Oh no, no. I'll take the hurt it's like the big one. There are so many. Hey! Up here quick. There are too many of them. Cool, all right. Can I keep it? I wanna keep it. Well, thank you, Wolfer. Yeah, there will, there will be highlights up and the uh, Twitch archive and everything, too. Way to go. For a second, I thought you were both goners. Can I pet your whatever the wheel thing is on your chest? of all its power. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. Cyclozar? Is that a wheel on his chest? That looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know. You can't tell either, huh? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. 
You know, the battle down there was really something. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync facing down that hound dude. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh, good. Looks like it perked up a little. Do you think this fella was the one making that mysterious cry we heard? Giles. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mis mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separate again. Separated again. I'm not in love with a hat. No, it's true. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Swift, huh? Okay. Think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. I wonder what TM materials means. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. This little lizard guy is pretty cool though. I like him. There's a Hoppip. Let's catch Hoppip. See, my cat's fine. Watch it. Man, I really like how fast the catch animation is. It's so much faster. Yes. We'll have to replace Fletchling here in a little while, probably. Pokemon blown across vast distances by the wind. It's unclear where the Hoppip of Paldea originally came from. So there's like seeds blowing in from other countries. Okay, well, there's progress. Any more Pokemon around? That's not the way to the lighthouse. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry. Change clothes. Oh, that's my camera. You start up a camera app by pressing the down button. Move around freely, snapshots. When you have the camera app open, press the Y button to flip the camera around and take photos of yourself. Ah, uh, that's cool. When you want to take a fancy or funny photo, try pressing the left or right buttons to change the filter. Cool. Well, you'll have Pokemon that are from Johto and whatnot, sure, but the other, the main question is like, could they come from somewhere else, right? What's this one look like? What's this one look like? Autumn? Right, I guess we'll stick with summer. School gloves, yeah. Are they fingerless? Good enough. Well, okay. A school helmet. Um, who we just can we just take it off? Yeah, there we go. HRG. You can get different cases. That's why it was a different color. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, is, is it summer in the game? Or is it autumn? It looks very warm here. We just change our clothes right here in the middle of the road. Hey, that guy reminds me of, like, Rose's brother. 
why that little what are you doing out here Yanny? is it the one who had like the big backpack always doing stuff I'm not talking to you too you can shove off wait I know you aren't you Arvin you're enrolled in the humanities track right and aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is. All right, jeez. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here? And what is with this form it's in? Um, see, we heard a strange cry and we tried to investigate, but then Aaron fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Foriadon takes in battle, that's its true form. Foriadon? Coridon? Coridon. Maybe it's rock, like Rhydon. Okay. Uh, is that this Pokemon's name? How did you know it? Agi Agias. You can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Don't you? Koridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? Like, I don't even know what typing it is. Dragon and something? You think you're up to uh, ordering Koridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? All right. Well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling out all sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these old doldrums away. You gotta fight him? Okay. I hope my Pokemon are strong enough Ah, I squove it. That's not too bad. Sprigatito is probably still injured. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. Hey, no, I'm good. Um, let's use leafage. Let's try bite. I think it has, I think bite has the flinch, right? We'll flinch. We'll do one more leafage. Oh, sorry. Hit the mic. Did you have another one? Hey, look at all the levels going up. Alright, that's all he had. That was it. That was it. Man, I thought it was going to be tough. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. I don't think I was like just. I don't know. That seemed. You should have two Pokemon, maybe. I don't know. Like at that point, I should at least have two Pokemon, so. You should have two Pokemon. Come on, Iron. That was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I only just caught. Why didn't you use another one then? If you really think you can take Koridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's... That Brute's been kept in? Koridon's Pokeball. A Pokeball that can hold a mysterious Pokemon known as Koridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So I just get this Pokemon now? What? So why did you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oi, can you not hear me or something? <laughs> Fine, be that way, but you better actually show... I don't know what he said. What a weirdo. Alright, I guess this is my Pokemon now. That's weird. I guess I've won. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Well, yeah. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna... Bring some answers out of him. 
But oh, right. Uh, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. And we're still doing that. We got a new Pokemon. That looks like a Pokemon Center or a gas station. I don't know what that is. All right, up we go. Oh. Whoa, it's a cool view. Yeah, there's the gas station over there. Cool. Dude, this will, this place looks pretty big. Huh. Wingull? Look, Aaron, that's Mezagoza. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. That's a school. Looks like a castle. Or Hogwarts. Maybe it's Hogwarts. It'd be great having you in the same class, Aaron. But all that schoolwork. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're going to get to learn so much and battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. Looks good. What's that over there? There's like another little Pokeball up there in the mountains. You know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. I wonder how many Pokemon are in the game. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Go to the gas station. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters, or Platos. Uh, that's right on the way. Vamos, come on. All right. Los Platos. Music's pretty good, yeah. All right, there's some more bug Pokemon. Maybe we should, uh, auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon to use auto heal. Highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and press the minus button. Auto heal will use up items in the following order. Potions, fresh water, soda pop, super potions, lemonades, moo milks, and hyper potions. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's good in general. But once we're at higher levels, I'd rather use like... No, I'd rather use the lowest stuff first. That's funny, right? Everyone seems... Oh, and I can access my boxes here. Cool. Um, let's try LeChonk a little bit, maybe. I just want to see what he can do. LeChonk, do you want to fight LeChonk? Let's fight LeChonk. A chonky boy versus a chonky boy. go. Hey, hop it. Scatterbugs. What is... Uh-oh. It's a battle. Let's do it. Let's battle a trainer. So you have to talk to them to battle, huh? You don't have to just walk in front of them. I like his suspenders, those are cool. Critical hit, nice. We get another crit, probably not. 
Hit him one more time. He's gonna hit me one more time though, probably. Ooh, struggle bug. Ooh. That was close. Awesome, okay. Let's go down to the gas station and heal our piggy. Now that we beat that little kid. There was something, there it is. Any more Pokemon we don't, is that a Psyduck? It is. Um. Oh, that's not the right button. Oh, I threw my Pokemon out. Man, I need to figure out all the buttons. Um, let's uh, move you up here and fight this side up. Um, maybe a bite. Okay. Give one more bite and then we'll catch it with the Pokeball. Wait, I thought water healed me or something. What'd they say? Didn't like it. It took water, shot at it, and it sounded kind of like a, what's that one ability? Drain? Something? I forget what it's called. Gastrodon, I think, usually has it. Racked by a headache, when the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. See, we got another water duck Pokemon. <gasps> Whoa. What are you guys doing here? Let's catch one of them. Um... We will scratch it. All I can do is splash. We can probably catch it now. Oh no, water got me, why do you splash? Gotta fill up our Pokedex some. Get an idea of how many Pokemon are in the game. I also don't know which Pokemon like I need to level up for like variants and stuff either. So, like Psyduck could be a variant maybe or something, or Meryl could be. Um, its tail bounces like a rubber ball. It flings that tail around to fight opponents bigger than itself. All right, we will leave you in the box and uh, look around. Yeah, we're filling in some spots, though. That's good. We're getting an idea of what kind of Pokedex entries we're missing. Um, anything in the water? Anything over... Yeah, there's something. Paralyzed heal. Okay, more... More of the same, more of the same. This one's new. Is this game a buggy mess? Um, I mean, I haven't noticed any major issues yet. I'm gonna bite it. Good. There's been like little like hiccups here and there, I suppose, but I haven't had any, I don't feel like I've had buggy messes or anything. But I'm also not very far into the game. It's only been, dang, has it been like an hour? Ooh. Ooh, home claws. Um, let's get rid of uh, Tail Whip. Are we going to be a dark grass Pokemon? Have we had any dark grass Pokemon before? Not starters anyway, I don't think, right? Yeah, I don't know for sure though. It's really buggy and I just haven't gotten there yet. Spin its two tails like a screw to propel itself through the water. The tails also slice clean seaweed. 
The Sea Weasel Pokemon. Um, anything else this way? Any more Pokeballs? Will it stop me from going this way? <gasps> what are those? What are those? What in the world? What that is? Oh, I guess I'm fighting a wingo. What are those little? What are those things? Uh, let's catch this wingo if we can. Let's do scratch. Good. Okay. Getting a water flying Pokemon could be useful in the future. Um, what fish are those? Are those like? Basculin? Almost looks like seals on there or something. Uh, it soars high into the sky, riding upon updrafts like a glider. It carries food tucked in its bill. Okay. Ugh. How do I, I want to get these Pokemon. No, I don't want you. Um, let me, whoa, did you see that? There's a magic harp. Huh. No, it jumped too high. I couldn't get it. Look at that. Look, it's on a thing. That's cool. We're just gonna throw a Pokeball. All right, caught a magic harp. An underpowered, pathetic Pokemon. It may jump high on a rare occasion, but never more than seven feet. Put it in the box. Getting a lot of water Pokemon. All right, how do I get, how do I get these, these Pokemon? Uh -huh. Wait, what's going on? No, I want to capture it. Quit, quit. What are you doing? Come back. All right, man, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, so that button does that. Whoa, look at that weasel go. All right, what am I, how am I supposed to do this? What's this button? Do? Wiglet. <gasps> Is this like a weird diglet? Um, scratch it. Gooey. What is this thing? I already found a Diglett, so is this an evolution, or is this another version of a Diglett? Like, Cleaver was a different evolution from, I don't know. 
Um, this Pokemon can pick up the scent of Valuza just over 65 feet away and will hide itself in the sand. Um, we'll add it to the party. A Garden Eel Pokemon. Let's swap out Diglett and put Wiglet in there. Did I have a water Pokemon? So it's a separate one. There's Diglett and there's Wiglet. Hang on, how do I get to my, where's my Pokedex? I want my Pokedex. Mm. Um, how do I see the shelves? Okay, I was, I don't know. Two eighty-eight. Where's the? Oh, there's Grimmsnarl, Gyarados. I don't know who th that is. I'm not sure who that is either. Lives on beaches, hides in rocks when spotted. Okay. What are you? We don't know anything about you, okay. Um, I don't see any more Pokemon. Can I go over there? Nope, can't go over there. All right, let's go back up the river. I want to use this Wiglet. I wonder what type it is. Did, did it tell me what type it was? It's a female too. Um, let's go to the gas station and heal because I think it's a Pokemon Center. Or at least their version of a Pokemon Center. Can I cross this water or will it be met? Okay, cool. Oh, that Psyduck was sleeping. Lay chonk. Anything else around here? More lay chonks. There's a Pokeball. And a Cherry Berry. Lots of lay chonks. Um. Uh, Who's that? Is that a scatterbug? No. What are you? Whooper. That's a whooper. What move you got? Sand attack? Okay. Um, we should swap for Tito over here. Go back out the bag. He was caught off guard and couldn't move, huh? Okay. Let's just do a scratch. Okay, good. And that went fine. Is this one like dark type? Why is he like, he's not just all blue. What's that behind me? Did you guys see that? Whooper slime, ew. Ground and poison. After losing a territorial struggle, Whooper began living on land. The Pokemon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect its body. Interesting, okay. It kind of has like a crossbones skull look. Um, do I want to put this Whooper on my team? Mm, he's already ground and whatever he was. I could swap out Fletchling maybe. No, let's just put him in the boxes for now. We'll come back and do stuff with him later. All right, who are you? What are you? Fido? Fido? 
Fido. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't know. Santa Jack. Is this another electric? Dewey. All right, well, Wiglet's down. We're not playing a Nuzlocke. This is my first time playing, we're not doing Nuzlocke. I'm exploring with new Pokemon. Let's start my cat against this dog. Let's scratch him. Scratch him again. That might be good enough. We're not running to the wood. No. We're running out of footballs though. Hope it catches him. Good. Okay, what do we know about this one? It's a fairy Pokemon? Man, I thought it was going to be electric because of the yellow. Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath induces fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Interesting. Do I want a dog? Man, I don't know. We'll swap out Fletchling. All right. Deeply buff. Okay, I don't know how to switch between different things. Let's just do this. Catch an Igly buff. All right, let chonk. Tackle him. Good, no sing. Okay, we're not asleep. Gonna throw another Pokeball. How long is the stream going? Uh, we're going until about five is the plan. It is 12 o'clock right now. Thanks, 12 o'clock right now? Fast. Ooh. Ooh, charge. Um. Let's get rid of growl. All right. Body has a faintly sweet scent and is bouncy and soft. If it bounces even once, it cannot stop. All right, we're almost to Lost Plateau. So, can I? Where's my? Save. All right, hoping it's safe for right now. On that note, guys, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for a second. Be right back. And then we'll continue on to the school and see where we're heading next. So give me just a moment and I'll be right back, guys.
All right, there we go. We're back. Ah, all right. How we doing? Yes, it was bathroom break time. It's been a couple hours, so I figured we'd take a small break there. I also grabbed myself my Cheerios so I can munch on them. So far, it's been interesting. We've gotten some new Pokemon. Um, I don't fully get... I guess we just have doubles of some Pokemon, right? Like, it's not that we have an evolution of Diglett. There's a Diglett and a Wiglet, I think, maybe. I don't know. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. And we picked our Sprigatito. Sprigatito. And then Jancy picked whatever she picked. What did you pick, Jancy? What did you pick as your starter? Yeah. Quaxley? She picked Quaxley. Make sure everything switches back over and we'll go back in. You can move that. We don't need it. All right. Um... And we'll go back into the game then, guys. Yeah, there we go. All right, saved our progress. We're gonna go to this gas station. It's not a gas station. Is that items, link battles and Pokemon Center? Take care of all the things related to Pokemon, but I'll leave the explanation to the pros here. That one's just a computer. Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left side is a Pokemart counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. We set payment both in cash and in league points. And this is the TM. Technical Machine Machine. The TM Machine, for short. Okay. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. You'll need to pay LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot here, have some. You're gonna Venmo it? Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, and some of these too. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you to remember that you can send your lead Pokemon out with R. That way, you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around. Or go battle on its own, or other stuff like that. That's what, that's what it was doing. Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon, all right, buddy, let's go. Uh, once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up with potions or some other item. If your Pokemon starts to battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over from nearby. That's cool. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and type of the Pokemon taking part in the battle. So keep in mind when you're choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. I be a good way of Leveling, maybe. Let's heal. Is he gonna make a noise? Oh, can I register my birthday? Everything seems a little faster. By the way, did you know, when you don't know where to go next, you can ask help at the Pokemon Center. The staff there can give you tips about where you might want to try. Plus, they'll register their suggested destinations in your Rotom phone. All right, cool. Uh, what can I buy? Can I buy Pokeballs? Good. 
Um, bulk buy. Let's bulk buy. Did I get a premier ball? Yeah. Mm. Okay, otherwise. Let's go look at the TM machine. I want a TM made. Uh, let's see what we can make. To make TMs, you'll need to gather materials from Pokemon and earn League points. The range of TMs you can make will expand as, you're, as you pick up new TMs or receive them from others during your adventure. So I can make a Mud Slap with a Whooper Slime. Okay, so a lot more crafting in this one. That's cool too, it tells me who on my list can learn it as well. Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Mankey Fur. Mm. Okay, I don't think there's anything I can really make right now. You're downloading Violet right now. What do I do here? Using the Union Circle, you can play together with friends as you adventure around Paldea. If you want to play with nearby friends, you should leave your internet connection in offline mode. If you want to play with faraway friends, change to online mode. You can connect to or disconnect from the internet from within the Pokey Portal. When you want to invite friends to play together with you, form a group and then tell your friends the link code you set. Uh, when you want to join a friends group, you'll need to enter the link code they share. Remember that you won't be able to take part in link battles, link trades, or Terra raid battles with anyone but your fellow group members while you're playing together as a group. Hmm. But what is that? What, do we just run around the whole world? In a, in a group? As opposed to like the little raid caves that they did in Sword and Shield? You're probably farther than me, right, Jancy? No? Mm. You want to try it? Are you here? Um, just outside. I can attempt it to see what happens. If I form a group. You can gather with your friends at one of the Pokemon centers in the region and play together. If your connecting gets interrupted while you're playing with friends through the Union Circle, you'll be automatically removed from the group. If the trainer who formed the group loses their connection, the whole group will be disbanded. Try your best to play in an environment with a strong and steady connection. Gathering a group. Alright, well I'm in offline mode. Okay, and then once you get there, you get a link code. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, so only Jancy can join because I'm in offline mode. Okay. Yeah, the union circle, and then you join group, and then I think you put in the link code. 3884. Look, it's Jancy. Set out together. Uh, yes, because I don't have any more offline friends here. Communicate. Look, it's Jansen. Oh. Now what do we do? We just run around? Do we, do we have to stay close or can we get like far away? You're way over there. What happens if I start like battling something over here? What does it do to you? Does it? I'm gonna fight this uh, this ugly buff. Did it do anything to you? What? Okay. 
So we're just, no, we're just in the same world though, which is kind of neat. I was just curious what it does. Use a water gun. So you're just fighting something else while I'm fighting something? Huh. Uh, water gun. Good job, Wiglet. Cool. Where? Oh, there's Jancy. Oh, there you are. I couldn't interact with you, I don't think, or it ended, so I don't know. So can we both fight like this dog? I'm just wondering what we can do together and what we can't do together. I see you in the background. You're over there running around. Take this, Fido. Uh, yeah, we do have a Discord channel for Pokemon if you guys want to try to find teams and do stuff together. Uh, you can find that discord.gg slash blindwave and then you guys can just group up, make groups. Um, I think there's a few tags that we have too if you guys want to be able to tag each other. Just request in there uh, that you want to tag. I think it's like Pokemon Trainer. I forget what it is. Do you remember Pong? We have something. This Wiglet's weird. And he's gooey. My Wiglet? That's my Wiglet. Look at him. It looks like what, Jansy? What you, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with my Wiglet? There we go. Fight over. All right. What is Wiglet exactly? I don't know. I'm gonna heal my Wiglet though. I wanna see if it evolves. I imagine it's like a, did you get a, do you have a Wiglet? Did you see it anywhere or anything? I've never seen it. Um, I don't know. All right. Oh, by the way, did you know? All kinds of handy functions registered to your directional button. Check them out. Emotes. Oh, I can use emotes. I'm gonna do an emote. What emotes can I do? Ah, oh, clap. I can wave. Nope. Yep. Whoa! You can make a heart. What's that over there? Huh. Okay. Wait, why does it say that you're up there in the top? Oh, maybe you're talking to something. I'm gonna look around in this little village. There's Fletchlings. Oh, here's one of these new Tauros. I imagine he's dark. Um, well, we can see each other's Pokemon by throwing them out with a trigger button. Maybe, I don't know. Where are you at? You're over there. Can I interact with you? Hello, friend. Um, I can do this. There's my Wiglet. If you do your right trigger. Whoa, look, he digs on the ground. Look at him. Is that your Pokemon? Did you throw one out or did he just show up? Oh, where'd he go? What Pokemon is that? Oh, you got the Palmy. 
Mine digs in the ground. It's just a little lump that moves. It kind of is, yeah. Um, I have, uh... Change position. I have this bug Pokemon, Jancy. There he is. He's a bug. He turns into a spider, I think, because he's called Tarantula or something. Um, should we go to school? I don't know where else to go. Um, auto heal lets you like heal your Pokemon automatically if you select it, and it will use like the lower potions first, and then work its way up. Yay. South Province area. Spider. Yes. Spiders. I want to see if there's any new Pokemon. Honestly. Squovit. I don't think I have a Squovit. Potion. There's a Lechonk. I'm going to catch a Bonsley. What that guy's doing over there? He looks like a trainer. I'm battling the Bonsley. Um, struggle bug. Copycat. What's that gonna do? You just bug my bug. Uh, let's do one more and then we'll catch the Bonsley. I'm gonna go see what that guy is. Maybe that's a trainer. What's up, D. Carroll? Ah! Well. Is this a female Bonsley? My starter was a female. It's rare to find female starters. Bonsley, in order to adjust the level of fluids in its body, it exudes water from its eyes. This makes it appear to be crying. Huh, I didn't know that. All right, what's that over there? Squovit. I don't have a Squovit. I'm sorry, Nancy, I'm catching random things. Wait, why is he pink? <gasps> is it shiny? I found a shiny Squovit. Um, string shot. No, don't kill my tarantula. No, I want to catch this shiny. I don't want him to run away. And it's a girl. Let's just throw a Pokeball and hope it works. Dude, it was it was shiny in the overworld. Yay! I got a shiny Squovit. It only took me, to, I've never played a Pokemon game this little and got a shiny in it. <laughs> I've played Pokemon games much, much longer and never got one. I don't know what happened here though. The angle's weird. Yeah, it does, but sometimes like the battle's behind a rock. Yeah. I like that we can move the camera though in the battles. Get rid of growl. What happened? Cool. All right, we found a shiny, guys. Look. Explores berries in his cheeks. When there are no berries to be found, Squovit will stuff pebbles into his cheeks to stave off its cravings. Oh. Um. Yep, I'm heading to school. Oh, wait. This is one of them trainers. Can we battle a trainer together? I gotta use it on my team now. Do I have to? This guy's some 
someone else. My tarantula died to a B. Mm. All right, let's catch a comb. And we'll scratch it. Didn't want to swim, but now we have to have one in the party, right? I did! That's cool. Aw, oh, man, that's the first Pokemon that broke out of its bottom. Oh, no, Gust. We'll try to scratch again. And then we'll try to catch it. Is that a trainer or a Pokemon down there? Look like at a trainer. Standing in front of this Pichu and it's just staring at me. In front of a Pichu. <laughs> oh man, that's interesting too. I didn't think about like what differences are in the Pokemon games and if we're yeah. in the same world, like do you see mine or do we see different? I, don't know. Or... I wish I could I knew how to bring out the main one. The main Pokemon? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, where are you? Are you this way? What's that? Hop it. Um, oh, there you are. Here, let's see if we can fight this trainer right here. Um, I don't know, just we talk to him, I guess? Does it do anything to you? Got time to battle a fellow like me. You just you disappeared. <laughs> what is that? A gomb. Let's go, chonkers. Oh, I yawned. Go to ground because I think he's poison. You know, I'm thinking. Ow. He hit my wiglet. Do a mud slap. That's the worst looking Pokemon. Why is it the worst looking Pokemon? What's wrong with him? He's like a weird eel. This is because he comes out of the ground. Um, we'll, do I want to swap again? No, let's attack again. Don't fall asleep. No. Something shiny on the ground, too. I want him to wake up. A super into Pokemon this last year. Now thinking about getting a Switch. Is Legends of Arceus a good starting game? Legends is fun. What are you doing, Aaron? How are you? I didn't know that she was going to be here. She was just. I would have messaged. She just came and chilled. I didn't know if you'd be here or not. Thought I'd bring you like a. Like a hot chocolate. With a little bit of mint, so like a junior mint. Cool. Well, thank you. Look at my wiglet. Oh, you can push that button and they can see you, I think. I don't think they want to see you. Oh, they don't want to see you. Melanie, see you. Oh. See, that's a wiglet. Wow. Well, that's good. As Chansey would say, wave it, very phallic. <laughs> it's... I'm just trying not to say it. What, what do you mean it's phallic? I don't understand. How could it possibly? 
Do they know that Jansen's here, or did I totally out her? No, they know. Okay. Well, yes. I each other's games. Yes, they're Jancy. Like, we just kind of run around and do our own thing in the game. Really cool. There's my light chunk. So like, it's not co-op. You can be in each other's worlds. How co-op? But it's I'm still figuring it out. But look, my little light chunk will just run around and beat stuff up. Come over here, light chunk. Beat up, beat up. Oh, and I found a shiny already. How do you know shiny? I found it. I've been like you already right captured. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, how can you tell if that's going to be shiny? Get him, Lechonk. Like, it's battling in the world. And he's leveling up and stuff. See. I don't even have to battle. Huh. This is very innovative, I guess. It's different. It's very different. Look, she caught a pommy. Pommy! There's a hop pip. Pommy. Um, I just been kind of looking around for more Pokemon that I don't have. I've been trying to only get new Pokemon to use on my team. And so, did they introduce a lot of new Pokemon? Look, here's a trainer, but it doesn't just attack me. I have to talk to him. Well, that's nice. It's different. Eating for them to like turn. Yeah, it's not for you to walk by. And then it seems very open world, similar to our. Arceus, and I have Fido. So this is where like Arceus and traditional Pokemon games meet. Uh, this is where, like the the original Switch one. It's like a Sword and Shield. Oh man, I gotta fight this scatterbug. Uh, Sword and Shield mixed with Arceus a little bit is what it feels like. So this is my Fido, looking turn during the battle. Um, I don't know. I haven't done any raids. I haven't seen any raids. I'm still supposed to go to school. I still gotta go to school and learn stuff, so I haven't done that yet. Give her the other copy? Of what? Of Pokemon? No, that's at home. She has her own. Wait, you brought it home? Yeah. I said I didn't it. didn't have to come in here. No, you didn't. I left it there for you with your Switch and everything. So you could play. That's very nice. Well, I thought I would be nice and bring you hot. Uh, chocolate. Hot cough. Chocolate. Yeah. You don't have the coffee. I have it. Uh, Bonsley. Wait, what's that? Is that another scatterbug? Or is that something else? What is that? What is that? It's really cute. It looks like one of those, like, chinchillas. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, um... Screw, 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 screw. Lick it, Fido. Oh, it doesn't affect him. Oh. Okay. Tackle them. Maybe dark too. Can't affect it either, either way. But I don't know. It could be normal. I'm trying to tell what it looks like. Look, look at that. It's just. Does he have like? No, he only has four legs. Yeah. Can I tell him right now? Or if he does. I chose the cat. Why? It was grass. Why? I don't know. Everyone has me worried that when he evolves, you just get more cats. <laughs> just multiply. What did you say, Jancy? It looks like you gotta climb stuff. All right. A poison normal mouse. Or is it? Uh, no, like the actual avatar, like uh, the It will sink its sharp poison soaked front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. No nickname. Do I want to put this in my party? Should we swap out something? My 
Harorontula. I don't know how you say this. Well, you're still in like this area. <laughs> Go to a cave or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's even more. Nah, it'll just be creepier things in a cave. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, let's uh, swap out Tito. I don't know. In uh, Sword and Shield, if you registered certain things, you would get like a special thing each day or whatever, or you could even, a lottery or something. Even in older games, you could do that. Rule one, work those legs. Rule two, work those legs. Rule three, don't skip leg day. Lucy, I was gonna say, Lucia is making me think of uh, Luisa. Holy coley. Mm, he's fire and rock. Good. Critical hit. We got Roly Coley pretty quick. Oh, I just got your text, so I should have bought that Charizard. No, you could have. You want to know the third and fourth rules? There are none. It's all legs. <laughs> I got 420 prize money. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go back and heal my Pokemon up and then I guess I'll go to the school. Wait, let's go back up. Um, oh, there's a happy knee somewhere around here too. Aaron cheated, what, why? I didn't do anything. Hey, there's a little deerling. Oh, you want to see my shiny, Melanie? It's in my box. Here he is. Aww. He's a pink squovet. Yeah. Does he evolve and then be boring, other? I don't know. I don't know what they turn into. I, think, I, I wasn't even sure. Yellow, it turns like yellow. At first when I saw him, I thought it was going to be like a variant of Squovit because he was a different color, not that he was going to be a shiny. Can I talk to them on this side? So does this have a higher shiny rate? I don't know. I've played games the entire time and never found shinies before. I, know. So. I never knew that there were shinies in any of the Pokemon games. Yeah, I don't usually get shinies very often. And I guess back in Game Boy days, I like really know those shinies. Black and white ones. Yeah. You didn't have any shinies then until you transfer them to one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna grab more Pokeballs. I like having. I don't want to run out of Pokeballs because I want to be able to catch all the new Pokemon. I'll get ten new ones. I don't know. I don't know how many Pokemon are in the game. And you don't know if these are actual variants, though? That's one thing, too, is, like, I have a Scatterbug, and Vivian was in X and Y, and yeah. that one had a lot of different, like, looking variations of it. Correct. And I don't know if it's any different in this one or what. I mean, just, like, Diglett. That doesn't look like Diglett. <laughs> but I also have a regular Diglett. Oh, yeah? See? So I have him... I have a young goose, a hopip. Uh, Wooper is different. And then what area are you in? Look at his Wooper. Yeah, he looks like he has bones out of his face. He's poison. Oh. And he is supposed to look like he has bones in his face, like a cross, like a cross thing. And then he looks like a football <laughs> on his chest. Yeah, he looks like a football. Like football laces. He's a football Wooper. Um, I don't know where Chancey. But I don't know what we can. I don't know what we can do either. Outside the big yeah. gate, is it up this way towards the school? Now, what's this stone area called? Aldea. So, would it be a Aldea Diglett? I don't know. Aldea. It's a Wiglet. Oh. 
I think it's just like adjacent. I don't think Wiglet comes from Diglett. I think Wiglet is instead of Diglett. I think it's kind of the idea of how like Diglett. Yeah, I did too. But like there was another Diglett, but his Diglett had different hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Fight it. Yeah. The game seems okay so far. It's knocked out. Oh, I'm like, what happened? I'm reading it for you. Um. I haven't seen any oxalotls. <laughs> um, is Wooper like an oxalotl? Is it based on an oxalotl? Maybe it could be. It's kind of yeah, they're like lizards. Dang, Toodle. I like seeing what new Pokemon, well, not, not what new, but what Pokemon are in this. Like, I like Toodles. It's a convergent evolution, meaning it looks similar to another animal, but it is not related. Amphibian. Amphibian, yeah. Um, been having some nice battles. Hello there, I'm Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you've defeated five trainers. Well, then I've won. Here's your prize. Thunder Wave. You need to get the job done. Um... Like, oh, I didn't realize that this was a pass that needed to be met. Oh, uh, here we go. Excuse me. It's based on oxalotls. Yeah. And they're kind of water lizardy. B button to crouch. Oh, thank you, stream bots, for your air quotes. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. We'll just do that until we can do something else, I guess. That's weird. There might be more, and I just don't know it yet. What's the storyline so far? Of the school? Yep. Going to school. So it's kind of like the Arceus storyline, where it's just kind of vague at the beginning. I haven't gotten through too much story. Yeah, I have. But not your typical Pokemon game, where it's like, I introduce you to a rival immediately. What's going on? I don't think she's a rival, but I think she's just like a classic. Yeah, Namona? Yeah. Like, I just passed the big gates and stuff to find him yet. Let's swap to my army. Yeah. Using an electric move. So, is your. What's your goal? Like, is it to go out of the Right now, I'm just supposed to go to the school. Oh no. Just, I mean, let's see. We have like 10 days until that Tuesday where, you know, like this new game comes out. Are you talking about that MMO? Yeah. No, you're supposed to play this game. If it's this M kind of MMO versus that one. No, you're supposed to play this one. That one has dragons, Aaron. Oh, if there's no dragon in this, there's a whole typing of dragon. Can you fly the dragon, Aaron? Well, yeah, sure. You can fly or something. I'm sure. I'm sure you can. I don't know yet, but I'm getting there. If 
if I could hop on a Charizard and just fly him through the area, then I'd be all. It already lets you climb up. Well, yeah, but, but you don't fly get to high. fly yet. I gotta get all the Pokeballs. What are you talking about? And there's With your ball. Be the dragon, and I get to dive through the air. You should soar up higher and dive as fun right. as it is. I'm gonna cross this bridge. The goal is probably to cook all the Pokemon. What? what? Why would we cook them? Well, because you make them into candies, Aaron. I have herbs from my cat. Are you going to cook your cat? He would. <laughs> Brigatito. Oh, that cat. Yeah, not like the real cats. I'm like, yeah, I guess you do have cat manages. <laughs> Alright. Do you do that or do the Pokemon? You know, I got a sandwich at the breakfast. Leewick. Okay, I need it, so. <laughs> Alright. Oi, Aaron. Thanks, Nimona. Huh, did you battle some trainers on the hill? Which your Pokemon getting stronger? How about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? Let's do it. Uh, no, the weed cat has not evolved. But, cool uniform? Yeah. We have uniforms in school. I like her little gauntlet thing. I want that. <laughs> Changing your clothes. Yeah, finding all the outfits. Wait, but what? Then I have to keep battling and go and like getting more money so that I can battle. Who's the Pokemon? Who's the Pokemon this time? It's Quaxley. Quaxley's so cute, but I bet you whenever he evolves, he's like, oh. Hope not, because I chose him. He's got his little hair hat thing. The Ruto? Like, yeah, the Rito. Rito? Yeah. Ooh, they're gonna send out Pommy. Let's use Wiglet. Why is chat trying to figure out the best way to cook my Pokemon? Probably your cats. Saying to make dough from Fido, get pork from Lechonk, spices from Sprigatito, cook the eel up. Well, I mean, if you eat meat in this world, you are probably eating Pokemon. Probably, yeah. What? What are you doing? What happened? He's a light bulb. What in the world? I don't realize he turned to a light bulb. What is this? Peristalizing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of a Pokemon. What? Um, no, it's super effective. So you're not ground? I thought I was. I don't know Wiglet very well. He's just water. I, um, so he's just water. There's a terra typing. Huh. Like a tertiary type? Like the I wish I kept my diglet. You heading out? Working. 
Magical leaf. Which one do I want to get rid of for that? I just get rid of leafage. It always hits anyway. Mystery gift stuff? Okay. Um, I'll look at that. I assume it's under... I don't know where it is. Gotcha. All right, well, we finished that part and beat that uh, light bulb Pokemon. Look at you taking on hair, hairstylized opponent and winning. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forgot how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it's fun to battle you here, have revives. Too much food. All right, let's go to the city. Gabriel, thank you so much for the much prime sub. Appreciate it. We're gonna go explore this city here. Hmm. This is a cool looking place. Let me go up the hill to Hogwarts. It is, right? The houses are the places. Finally made it. Mezagoza, the biggest city in Paldea. Paldea? 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 It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's the hair salon where you can change your look, plus pl places with tasty food and fixings. What do you want to see first, Aaron? Uh... Tasty food. Didn't have you pegged for a biggie. Well, I gave my sandwich away. But that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy. Speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too. There's a few things you got to get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. So much to do. Grab a bite. Buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. For my personal recommendation, you've got to see Deli Bird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Hmm. Deli Bird, huh? I haven't seen a Deli Bird in a while. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. All right, we good? Let's see Altaria. Can I buy this balloon? I just, just want to know why they had a balloon cart. There's Bronzong. I found ice cream. Man. Huh. I don't understand what these meal powers do. I don't know what egg power is. Oh, it sucks. After this, you can't play anymore. Not till Monday. Okay. You 
I found a sandwich shop. What's this? Oh, it's a cafe. They sell quesadillas. Raid power ghost. Um, what's this place? Seafood. Where are the clothes clothes shops? Mm, nope. The center square. Nope, that's not the map. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, okay, over there. Get up. There we go. I'll heal because I think my wiglet's dead. Now, right, Jazz Manager, the game's been interesting. A little different. Kind of learning all the new stuff for it. Um, select your profile from the map app. You'll find various records from your adventure. You can also check your profile picture and trainer icon. Both your profile picture and your trainer icon can be updated freely by taking photos with the camera app. Enjoy crafting a profile. That's all your Cool. So I can take pictures of stuff, huh? And make my own profile instead of just picking what they have. Yeah. Where are we now? Greet him. He's a squovid evolution. Unless it's something else. Ooh, caps. This is only a hat place. I really don't want a hat. Nice thick socks. Glasses. What kind of glasses are there? The Spec Shack. Half rims. All right, they're only half rims. Shoes. Zapaldia footwear. Yeah, for your Rotom phone, you can get different cases for it. Green shoes. I shouldn't spend money on any clothes yet. I need items and stuff first. Catch more Pokemon. It's just another currency they have for some things that you get stuff for. Um, where do I want to go? Just go up this hill, I guess. Up this, these stairs. Who's that? Who's on the back? Is that a backpack or a Pokemon? It's a Pokemon backpack. Join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? No, really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. But now they're getting a little pushy. Um, I'd rather not. 
Huh? It tells me there's Pokemon, but then there's this giant waterfall and it's like a cliff. A cliff? <laughs> huh, you want on this too, huh? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you knew that, right? Nope. Didn't know, never heard of you. Another ignorant little nope. Here, I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, can we just let something like this slide? The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle. That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh faced nobody ends up seeing stars. I'm wearing glasses too. Whoa, okay. Okay, music's pretty good. There's a shrewdle. Ah, uh, it's poison too. Do they only have one Pokemon? I think they only have one Pokemon. Lost. Go up the steps. There's a lot of steps. <laughs> Went off to the side. Did you fight Team Star Grunt? No. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Up the steps. <laughs> right now. Oh, I see the Pokemon backpack. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's like an Eevee thing. No way. He beat you. Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Team Star's ranks? Paro, Bueno, what do you think you're doing? Ugh, oh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Aaron. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have to, all the battles you ever need with me. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that wrong. I'm sorry. I get it now. You two got Team Star written all over you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift. Is it a gauntlet? It's a, terra a terra orb. Kind of reminds me of an ultra beast. Uh, ultra beast ball is what it's called. When it's charged with energy, it can be used to cause Pokemon to terrestrialize. We have to put the Pokemon in it. Let's see after terrestrializes. I'm pretty sure your Sprigarito will be a grass type. Normally you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of those Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Okay. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You wanna battle me instead? Uh, never mind. I'll take my chance with the new kid. Then take your places and battle! Where'd we go? Oh. Shudo looks a little weird, I guess, yeah. A young goose. 
All right, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestrializing. Uh, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting terrestrialize buttons in battle. Pokemon terrestrializes its type changes to its Terra type. Moves of the same type as this Terra type will become much more powerful than usual. After terrestrializing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize a Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use the strategy wisely to seize victory in battles. Interesting. So it's not even a once a battle, it's a once a Pokemon Center thing. Probably not, but I'm going to use it. Magical Leaf. Let's see what happens. Mm. Hey. It's just got a bunch of flowers on the table. All right. A jester. Oh yeah, like a fountain, like a fountain head. All right. Well, that magical leap hit hard. And my shroomish or whatever it's called leveled up. Your Pokemon burned so. Why? Why are they partying? They lost. Nice, Aaron. You pulled off terrestrializing. I'm not in love with that word. I'm not in love with that Wiglet thing. With Wiglet? Wiglet? Wiglet's great. Moving your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized. Sometimes you'll find Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. I'll be on my merry way then. Yeah, hasta la V-Star. Ah, oh, V-Star. V-Star like a Pokemon card. Oh. Why are they wearing helmets? Because they don't want to hit their heads on stuff, so they're wearing helmets. Uh, yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. So they're the trouble kids, huh? They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, for what, from what I hear. Oh yeah, this kid. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So, yeah, see you around. Look at you, Aaron, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the trouble died down, so we'd better book it to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Is it like Ace Venture when nature calls? Everyone loves a slinky. All right, guys, let's just go up to the school. Naranja? Yeah. Is that what yours is? Yours is not Naranja? It's all purple. What? They're different schools? Yeah. I know we're in different schools. It's UVA. UVA. UVA Academy? I'm Naranja. Huh, okay. Weird. I didn't know that, that. I mean, they've done that for gems, but I didn't know they were going to have them be different schools. The Ufa Academy is better? No. Why? Why is it better? Besides that, Jance is going to say it's better too, but. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. Wait, we have to sign up for classes? What if you sign up for none? Yeah. Is that, what's that do? It's totally big enough to let loose a battle in here, but for some reason, they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Silly people. Master Aaron, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? Uh, we had a blast. Imagine if Simona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. 
I mean, I guess it's easier to pronounce. That's true. Uva. Or is it Yuva? Grapes. Grapes? Yeah. Do I get like strawberries? <laughs> Champion ranked student council president, reliable as ever, Miss Namona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Aaron? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of the Team Star kids in town. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Aaron flexed on him and ran him off. Ha ha! Take that! You don't say. Of course, it's fine to try and help a fellow student, Master Aaron. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff here uh, is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona... If you'd be so good, do report Mr. Jock about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going-ons. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. I haven't even signed up for anything yet. We're in class 1A. I think my hero. Um, my symbol is a apple wheel. What is that, Jancy? Looks like an orange. An orange? My my little crocodile guy, when that, he was walking around, cooked a orange or something. I don't know. It's red and it's purple. That's why they're fruit. An orange on an apple? The irony of that, Melanie would, would have loved. I called every fruit orange. Grapefruit, oranges, little oranges. Sometimes bananas just to mess with her. Some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? I want to hear news. Okay, Otacon, tell me. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Whisper, whisper, whisper. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. Yeah, right? Or at least like an upperclassman compared to us. Could you trouble? Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, I'm Aaron. Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Aaron. I like how that little kid's back there. His feet are just kind of like claymation. Yeah, but it's like claymation. Like it's not smooth. It's got a little bit of judderiness to it. Is that intentional or is that? On the yeah, maybe a mixture. Cause like the Jack, yeah, Jacques seems to be moving smoother, but that kid back there is like he's claymation. Yeah. Mimi, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Um, I like everything about Pokemon. Really awesome. I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me, I have a question. You went all the trouble in rolling here, so spill, Aaron. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Mm. Well, plead the Pokedex. I'll be a strong trainer either way, but cleaning the Pokedex is tough. I'm glad I got you set up with that Pokedex app if you like collecting that much. Pong, was that your answer? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like eating them. What? That's, that's, I like eating Pokemon. Pikachu's? Do you eat Pikachu's Pong? A little shocking, shocking development there. What's up? Us, uh, us fishy, I don't know how you say your name. I'll call you us. What's up, us? Uh, thank you for telling us about yourself, Aaron. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. No comment, Pong. Okay. 
That's your seat, second row from the front. There's like Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, like, we have to go to school and do class stuff or whatever? Is it gonna be kind of like a Harry Potter Pokemon combination? That's kind of cool. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. All right, chat, if you could eat one Pokemon, which Pokemon would you eat? Or, in another word, if you had to eat one Pokemon, which one would you eat? What, Jancy? Not a bug. Why not? But they'd be little. Not the Pokemon bugs. Some of them are tinier. Ditto for different flavors. A biology, math, and battle class are all available to take. Light Shadow Onyx, you would not eat a Bulbasaur. You are just saying that. I know what you're doing. Um, we should do, um, instead of Pokemon Smash or Pass, Pokemon Eat. Eat or not? <laughs> would you eat this Pokemon? Um, okay, where do we want to go? Let's go look at the staff room. Turtle meat, vanillite. See, vanillite's a good one. That's an ice cream Pokemon. What in the world? Is that just hair? Yeah. I was like, whoa. Whoa, okay, yeah, okay. Just the blue hands and the big hair. I'm like, what is happening? You eat Rotom, do you get all his knowledge? No, I don't think so. Yeah, but he's just electronic key, so I don't think Rotom gives you anything. He could. Um, what's a good Pokemon to eat? Alchemy. I would eat Alchemy. Um, it's in Sword and Shield. It's kind of like a big cake. Or cream puff. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing. Is she Champion Champion? You can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. Glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Uh, Fido looks nice, and if you bake it, would it be a hot dog? All right. What? Well, what? It's a hot dog, Jancy. Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool pra practically coming out of her ears. Basically everything I want to be or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be. Which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream was? I know you said completing Pokedex, but you should try to reach champion rank like me. Hang on though, I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Trainers to reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. Okay, and to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on the eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. There are gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon's trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know? Treasure hunt. Special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. 
I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Cool, let's go find some gems. Oh. Mm. Oh, and it tells me they're type too? Whoa. Pokemon gym location has been added to your map. All right, so bug and water, and I think that's normal. Ice, ghost, electric, grass, and what is that one, fairy? Victory Road, why are you telling me about Victory Road? Give it some thought. Thank you, Malik, for the gifted subs. Okay, let's go look at the cafeteria, I guess. Yeah, if you guys want, um, the ads on Twitch pop up every so often. Um, if you're subbed or if you use your Prime sub, then you won't get any of the ads, though. So, if you do have Twitch Prime, consider using that, and then there's no ads, which is cool. This is that one guy who I took his Pokemon. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all, buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Aaron, right? Arvin and Aaron. Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream? Caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is I'm all about that picnic life. Okay, the great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? Kinda like Brock. I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune, immune system. Sounds cool, we need some of those. In real life. <laughs> yep, in real life. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. I only, only found here in Paldea. A, and rare to boot. This book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are, well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Whoa, monster of Area Zero. As we descend further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of a mysterious Pokemon. Though we wandered, we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Mortally wounded, hey. Look at that. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan. How do you notice that? Yet differences such as its sheer size and shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Is it a new Don fan? I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I've never and I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up, you've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Sure, I'll help you. Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. 
I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. Oh, his phone cover is interesting too. It's, look, you made it pink. Oh, what are these? So a steel Titan, Titan, a rock Titan, a flying ground and dragon. So we get Titans that are also different types than the gems, which is cool. That might cover most of the types then. The Path of Legends. Why did I stop watching The Walking Dead? Um, I've been trying to catch back up more to it, but um, I got spoiled on a thing, and then I started going again, and I got spoiled on a thing, and it just kind of like ruined my momentum, and I wasn't excited to get to the parts that I've been spoiled on, and then I have just been behind since then. Um, let it stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later, and in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. I can start us, okay. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers can be sold for low price in shops. Okay, so nothing new with that then. Okay. My group is disbanded. I forgot we were in a group. Yeah. We'll have to find out in the future what we can do as groups and stuff and run around and do things. This is Aaron, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. You need to hack my smartphone. Hey, what do you mean hacked? As far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name is Cassiopeia. <gasps> it's the Medusa lady from League of Legends. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with a serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Aaron, you know about Team Star, right? Oh no, is this a Team Star leader? Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. Okay. So I've come with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation and I'd like you to be one of them. Do I want to be one of these allies? But the teacher said I shouldn't do it, right? He said it should be left to the teachers. No need to reply right this second. Okay. We can discuss the details some other time. So then I'll leave it to you. Bye. All right. Well, then why'd you call me now? If you don't want anything. Uh-oh. He caught me. Oh, Master Aaron. I hear you've been talking to Cassiopeia. No, you're grounded. No. Uh, please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Uh, I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all. Mm. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and, day and age. On you go then, young man. I can switch overlays. So I push this overlay. I need to see. Okay, so there's an overlay button switcher. Let's make sure that. Waiting. Uh oh. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Calling Master Aaron to the director's office, please. Oh no, I'm in trouble already. Master Aaron to the director's office, please. Okay. All right, well, let's see what this overlay is different. I think I just push this button. Is that it? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I might have to switch where I am, though. I think I am underneath it. So let me switch that, but yeah, okay. So there's where all my little... Your hand. <laughs> I'm over here! Help! I'm going to go home. 
Alrighty. Alright, bye Jancy. Have a good day. Guys, let me switch so that you can see me. I'm still here. Hi. over to this one for right now ah oh, how are you guys doing i'm gonna take a second it's no oh, it's been a crazy week too oh you guys can't hear me maybe now you can hear me better sorry i'm gonna switch over to this one for a little bit it's been a crazy week because also like the heat in here doesn't work right now so it's kind of cold everyone's been getting sick it's been it's been a thing oh I have my wisdom teeth taken out. Yeah, Jancy and Melanie both headed out. Um, actually, I think everyone might be gone now. It might just be me. Have you guys been playing uh, Pokemon? Who played last night? Uh, is your drink from Tim Hortons? Yes, I believe so. Be from. Let me look. It might be from uh, Stoked. Nope, it's from Stoked. We have a Tim Hortons and we have a Stoked Coffee as well. Yeah, I hope everyone feels better soon too. Yeah, but Hong Kong got canceled or at least postponed. Uh, we're planning on trying to have it next Wednesday, but it's gonna be at like noon rather than at three. Um, but we should still have that. It's just been messy because of Thanksgiving and stuff next week and, or next week as well, so. I went Last night, I left my house to go to the midnight launch at GameStop so I could pick up the copy so I would have it today because I wanted the actual uh, cartridge. Tried entering a bunch of sweepstakes, but no luck so far. Oh, I'm sorry, Arlen. And I'm not giving anything away or anything this time. Maybe in the future. I'll, I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, if you guys didn't hear, though, um, the highlights for this, uh, we're planning on putting on the Pokemality YouTube channel. Um, it's actually going to be, uh, it's going to, it's going to kind of encompass Pokemon stuff for me and uh, Blind Wave in general. So make sure you guys follow over on the Pokemality channel. You can find it on YouTube, and the highlights will be there. I'll probably keep the YouTube Twitch archive with uh, um, the main vods, the full streams. Um, and then also coming into December, I'm going to start releasing some of the, uh, um, I have some card, uh, opening things that we've done. So that's going to be happening as well. So hopefully you'll see, uh, some consistent Pokemon stuff popping up on Pokemality. It's been a little while. It's been busy. I haven't had any room to really open and I've just got a surplus of Pokemon cards and stuff, especially that's been backed up that I've been wanting to open and talk about and maybe build decks and do stuff like that too, so. So we'll do that, and then uh, I'll probably do things like uh, Pokemon challenge videos and stuff too. But it seems like a good time to do this with Scarlet Violet just coming out. Um, last week, I think it was, we just had Silver Tempest come out, which is the uh, final Sword and Shield set um, for Pokemon cards. And then um, in January, I think it's January 20th, is the first, it's a subset. It's not the first official set, I guess. I think that's in February, but January 20th is the first Scarlet and Violet subset of, of cards coming out, so. It will be interesting. That guy, J-Rod, thank you for the resub with your Prime. Appreciate it. Fan games could be a thing that could do. Um, I've had some people talk to me about those. I haven't played a lot of Pokemon fan games. I mean, a lot. I haven't played any Pokemon fan games. Um, I don't think at all. So that could easily be something that I do, and that would probably be placed over on the Pokemonality channel. 
Um, I'm also throwing around the idea that I might not necessarily stream all gameplay stuff that I do, but we might just record some and then have it edited for over on Pokemonality as well. So, but that is the plan currently. And we'll just kind of evolve that channel as we go. My main goal is to just try to have like, like a video a week, just kind of keep trickling through and everything, so. I might, what time is it, 1.30, I took that at 10, 11, 12, 1, uh, I'm gonna take uh, ibuprofen. I might take ibuprofen for my, uh, for my teeth real quick. So give me one second and I'll be right back guys while I get, uh, while I get medicine. Yeah, Crown Zenith, exactly. I haven't looked, that's one of the things too is I've been debating between the arts and stuff of if I want to look into anything. So there's like a weird mixture between um, like I I want to look at everything and know what's going on with the cards, especially for like deck battling side of things. But at the same time, I want to open and be surprised with how things look. Um, with the uh, Silver Tempest, Colson opened up the alt art uh, Lugia and it was actually a bounty at the local card shop. And they are going to, uh, if you open the bounty from buying the stuff there they uh they'll send it off to grade and you got two free booster packs all right give me one second to go get uh the uh advil i'll be right back As far as cards and stuff go, I'll be learning a lot of that stuff still too because I don't keep up with all the information on the cards. So it'd be a mixture of me learning some of the new stuff, but also like as I learn, trying to pass on things and stuff too on it. Let me open up these here. Oh no! There you go. This would be better. I keep forgetting to put this back on. All right, there we go. You got lucky and landed that a few weeks ago. Oh no. Um, I have to look at it here in a second. Ooh. Uh, where's my water? There it is. Oh. They have me on amoxicillin to make sure I don't get any bad stuff with my wisdom teeth getting removed and then I've just been rotating about every four hours or so pain meds for mainly down here to try to reduce swelling and stuff too so so we'll get back into the game here soon uh, we just finished up uh, unlocking I guess all the gyms and stuff and now we have to go to the uh, principal's office basically uh. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm not sure what the problem is. So who's ahead of me right now as far as who's played the game? And also I appreciate uh, people not spoiling. Thank you very much. Um, I haven't, either I haven't seen the spoils and people have been, mods have been like removing things very well or uh, I appreciate you guys being uh, easy on posting stuff, so. Ugh. Way far ahead. Well, that's good too, because um, I wanted to play first time today, but going into Monday and Tuesday, I imagine everyone will have the weekend to be able to play and stuff too, so I will get some time on uh, 
people being ahead and not me spoiling them. So. You played this game last month. Really? How? Was it leaked and stuff? I don't know. I don't know how things work with all that. I played it today because it just came out. Have to go to work soon. Oh man. A lot of spoilers on Twitter. That's spoilers happen a lot in different places. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to avoid most things. Sprigatito? Is that how you say it? Sprigatito? That was the starter that we picked. So it's gone pretty well, I guess. Oh. All right. I did that with almost two. You got a pink shiny two pong, that's cool. I've been pretty spoiler free on this on odd Joker. It's been cool to be able to like not have an idea of what's gonna be in the game really. I feel like Sword and Shield and Arceus, I still had like some ideas of stuff, but this one I feel like I've been the most blind out of any of the Pokemon games I've played. <laughs> we ready? Get back into the game. Um, how about we use Ghastly to get back into the game? Aha, it worked. Yes, yes. Uh, let me change my TV back over here. <clears throat> All right. Um, where am I going? Nope, nope, nope. I need to go to teacher's office or something. I don't know where the teacher's office is. What class would you like to take? I don't want to go to school. Oh, I guess that's where I want to go. So I got to measure out there, Expo. My dislike for cats with my love for grass types. Have you been enjoying your time here at Naranja Academy? Sure. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have a simple conversation earlier in the cafeteria. Let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Is that a fossil on the wall? There's no friends here. Ah, oh, no, I'm afraid there aren't, they aren't actually here in this room. One moment, please. Is on the TV? Hello, Aaron. Nice. Oh, wait. This is the professor. Um, what's her name? It's uh, Ar Arvin's mom or whatever, right? My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the great crater of Paldea at a site known as Area Zero. Oh, that's Area Zero. Okay. Professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Aaron, student ID number 805C393. You are a student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Baridon, is that correct? Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. 
Uh, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? Agia? Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Karaidon was once in my care, you see. Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I did. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Karaidon on my behalf? Yeah, as I'm doing already. I do appreciate your agreement. Karaidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on the form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I'll provide you with my contact information if you would please get out your phone. My phone got out itself. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. All right. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Sata, don't tell me you actually did it. Did what? Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the Academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Karaidon. Um, okay. Oh, you're still here, Aaron. Ah, oh, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Aaron. Let's go. All right. People like Professor Sada, huh? Ta 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 chan. What? And today on this is your room, Aaron. It's pretty big, honestly. Than I thought it would be. Actually, it's it's new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. There's your bed. Looks comfy. Must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest in bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up, and then we can battle even more. Why well, don't like cats? Um, they're just little jerks. Cats are always just... They don't care what you want. They do exactly what they want. They just they'll throw your stuff on the ground. They'll... Do whatever. Like, dogs will do it, but they're more of like... They're like sweet, ignorant kids. Whereas, like, cats are like smart jerks. So, that's why. Like, a puppy will eventually learn not to chew on this, not to pee here, not to do that. A cat will know sometimes and still do it just because. He'll look at you with, like... Don't you knock that off the table, and he'll just knock it off the table, and he won't care. They'll cuddle when they want to cuddle. The, day quickly the days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Naranja Academy. And then the last day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Okay. Dude, that was like a week or something. At least three days, right? Yeah, time skip. Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Oh, it's treasure hunting day. Please assemble in the schoolyard where I will explain in more detail.
It's time. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Yeah, Pokemon should be level 100. You're right, Pong. I guess we're going to the schoolyard. We only get one choice to move. So far, I'm assuming we're still kind of tutorial-ish, and then eventually we'll be able to just kind of go where we want to. Well, then it's time I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned so much within the walls of our fine academy. I swear that Hariyama looks weird. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live there. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings and find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as, a fine, as fine young trainers. So let the hunt, treasure hunt begin. Onward. Dude, Breath of the Wild might be worth a switch. Breath of the Wild, you can spend so much time in on its own. Like, not even counting this. Legends Arceus, that one's a really good one that has a lot of time that you can spend doing all kinds of... What is that? No, what is that? Whoa. It's like a little version of the other lizard I have. Tomaya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, cyclizer. We're riding out. Take care, everyone, and remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is violation of school rules. You should have said that earlier. What are you waiting for, Aaron? Let's go. Can I ride my... Can I ride my lizard? Um... Where am I supposed to go? Anywhere I want? Is that the idea? What's over there? Pokemon League, okay. Okay, this is where I started, huh? All right, well, let's head, uh, I don't know, east or west. Which way do we want to go? This is area two. And this is area three. So let's head that way. You have to go down the steps. Oh, okay. Like, what's going on? Treasure hunt is finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? What are we supposed to, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. All right, maybe they'll direct me where to go. Treasure hunt is a huge part of Naranja Academy school here. The point isn't to get us looking for some actual hidden treasure. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Paldea's got to offer. 
You could try to beat a Pokemon gym. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real capital E treasure if you wanted. There's stuff we'd never learned sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Okay. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. I'm ready. Let's do it now. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? I already did that. You try setting one on setting one of the gyms as your destination. That'll get you on your way easy. How's that for student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Arvin. Insider advantage. Sheesh. You make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out a gym. It's what Aaron, it's up to Aaron whether he goes. Aaron's gonna have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting layers of Titans and having the Earth Mystica. In Syria? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Aaron whether he goes, right? Here. Mm, Aaron, your phone's ringing. Can't be Cassiopeia being like, hey. Yep, there it is. For Operation Starfall, remember what I told you before? Team Star is made of five individual squads and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry with your skills. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone. Okay. Fire, poison, fighting. There's the fairy. What was the other symbol then? I wonder what they were. How long have I been playing? Uh, there you go. Almost four hours. Uh, we're going to about five, and it's like two o'clock right now. We're just now getting past the main, like, tutorial area section, I think. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Aaron's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Aaron to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you just said? Nimona? Arvin? How they know? How do you know my name? Looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Aaron. Bye. Man, I wonder who this person is. What's up, Mojo Frog? Uh, no, I don't have any Bulbasaurs. I don't have Bulbasaurs in the game, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. What was that all about? Aaron, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Oh, those are cool. They remind me of the towers from uh, Sword and Shield with the, uh, oh, what is it called, Kung Fu? And Urchafu's? Here's a Pokemon joke for you, okay. What did one Geodude say to the other Geodude? Let's rock. Seems accurate. I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what to do, Aaron. Go where you want, do what, and do what is what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my, or, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica. Wait, what? What was he gonna say? For me, that's gotta be my... I don't know. 
Let's get those herbs. I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had in your life. Is that what gave the one dude his powers? He wants a sandwich. What'd you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> That's funny. Well, you're not getting one. Aww. It seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Aaron? Can I just ride this? Press the plus button to jump on to Coridon. You'll find you can get around more quickly. When you're on Coridon's back, you can press the B button to jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Press the plus button to get, again, to get off and walk. Whoa, his tail turns into a wheel, doesn't it? Psych lizard, or whatever they called it. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird psych lizard. As long as you've got Coridon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. What did Melanie send me here? Hmm, yeah, me. Well, if you're... <laughs> Melanie and I just found out the other day that, uh, do you guys ever watch Spy Kids from, I don't know, the early 2000s? If you're going to search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say set out from the East Gate. But since Aaron's actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say go to the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. So the other day, because of TikTok, I found out, do you guys know the actor who plays Junie, the little boy? I haven't seen him for a long time, so I saw him for the first time and then also found out who he was married to. And now Melanie just sent me something like, look at this. Which, by the way, he's married to uh, uh, Megan Trainer. The treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is held by the Academy to encourage students to set out on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go and search for treasure all your own. Yeah, I didn't know. It's just interesting that we found that out. Okay, look at this. Cool. All right. Um, so... All right, well, there's a bug gem. Um, this way, I guess, huh? Why is the game not fully voiced? A lot of uh, Nintendo games, they don't fully voice stuff. I jump over this? Nope. Do I just run or can I use like... I want to use like the wheels and stuff. Rotototo. Hey, it's me, Nimona. We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decide to set out heading west from the school, right? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortando. That's where you'll find the bug type gym you can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, Aaron. Good luck, I'll call you soon. All right, if that's what we're gonna do. I want to bring back out Fletchling. When it comes to bug Pokemon, we'll get rid of Fido. Um, hmm. Is rock good against? I forget. You know what? Let's just take Fletchling with us. And we'll make him like, uh, let's we'll put him on top.
Yep, I chose Scarlet. Our goal is heading towards a gem, which is a bug gem. Enjoy picnicking. Hey! Got some reap here. Can I pick stuff up while I'm here? Yeah. Well, what's this? What is this? Crystals. All around Paldea, you may spot crystals uh, emitting brilliant beams of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a Terra Raid battle and try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. In a Terra Raid battle, you'll work together with other trainers to battle powerful Terra Pokemon. You can battle alongside Fairway friends while you're in online mode or nearby friends while in offline mode. These battles will pit you against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat a Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also... Okay, so these are just like raids, and it's a Slowpoke. How do I change online and offline mode? Your shiny was a pink Marie. That's cool. Um, options. How do I switch to online mode? Pokey portal. Connect to internet. Anyone want to do my first terror raid or join in? How to mail Ralts, cool. Unrivaled Charizard blast into Terror Raid battles. Whoa. Look for Eevee in Terror Raid battles, okay. Receive a special Pikachu. I want that. Um, how do I get it? Go down. Go down. Down. How do I get you? Okay, there we go. I'm like, what am I missing? What am I supposed to do here? Uh, get via the internet. Cool. Flying Pikachu. Ah, oh, that's so cool. When it's angered, it immediately discharges the energy stored in the pouches in its cheeks. Cool. Okay, I guess that's all from that. You can finally visit Ohio with Fly. <laughs> Alright, now if I go over to this and challenge as a group. Invite friends with a link code. Hey, look, there's my link code. Does anyone want to join? If not, I'll just get random people in here. In keto, your 4K TV things look bad, but it looks nice here. Uh, it Switch is weird. I don't know. Also, when things are bigger, maybe it doesn't like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it a second. If we don't have anyone that wants to join in, then we'll just do it with uh, random people. It's a Pong. What the heck Pokemon is that? S22 per. I'm going to use my kitty cat. Oh, sorry if 
I keep holding over here, guys. Yep, it's purr like a kitty. Yep, Jancy and Dora. You guys are right. It's like a S22, like my phone. Is that what it is? is that, are they S22? I think that's right. If no one else joins, can just me and Pong do this? Or do they fill it with AI like in the other raid stuff? Andy. Andy with the whooper. Well, I took medicine a little bit ago, but it hasn't kicked in yet. Use the pink sheep. Okay. Um, this is a slow poke, right? So we should just be water. Andy's ready. Pong's ready. Anyone else? We're about to just hit the button. All ready to go. All right, Pong and Andy, let's do this. Now you've got a full party, cool. Maybe over here is where you can do more of the co-op stuff. Maybe like the other area is not so co-op-y. Whoa, he has like a giant heart on his back. Huh. He's oblivious. Use magical leaf. So he's a fairy type? Oh, confusion! Not good. Not very effective yet. He's a fairy type, okay. I might not have good Pokemon for this, guys. Um... Just do magical leaf again. Ooh, paralyzed help. That's good. Um, who's better for paralyzing? I don't think I should. Um, let's hone the claws. There you go, yeah, let you terrestrialize. Do it, Andy. Oh no! I'll wait until I die and then terrestrialize when I come back, I guess. Oh, I fell asleep? Dang. Well, it doesn't look like there's a turn thing, just, well, just the timer in general. But I don't know if knocking us out affects any of that or not. Interesting. That's a belief. All right, week two. Um, poison would be good. But I didn't pick a poison Pokemon. Pick my cat. I don't think we're gonna get it yet. I didn't know the slowpoke was gonna be fairy type. Chipping away at it. Real close. 
the timer's going. Critical hit, get the magic leaf. No, don't yawn anybody. Oh, we're so close. Keep doing magic leaves. Oh, we're almost there, we're almost there. Ooh, good hit. Oh, I'm confused. Some folks. Wake up. Magic leave again. No, oh, I'm fast asleep. No. Oh man. He's down. Wow, what happened? You and the others were blown out of the cavern. All right, well, good try, guys. I should have chose a poison Pokemon. I do it again. Okay, cool. Invite with the link code. Change my Pokemon. <laughs> do I want Shrewdal? Or do I want Wooper? Wooper's level 6, where Shrewdal's level 10 at least. What moves you got? All right, we'll try him. All right, A five N zero one N. I would say Eric picked fire. And this time I have poison types, so that'd be good. Jancy picked the duck. I don't know what Melanie picked. She might pick the fire fucking now too. I'm curious to see what she picks. Pong. Ooh, Toxtricity, huh? That's a good one. Over any time, anyone else want to in? I think Eric was trying to join too, but he was in a cinematic. I guess I could back out. Should we wait for Eric, guys? Pong, we're gonna back out. We'll wait. Alright. Let me go explore a minute while we wait on, uh... We'll battle this person. Noah the student. One hour left. For what? No, Dora. It's only two. 
use Peck. Peck him. Peck him again. Uh, I'm playing till five. That was all good. Come on, just hit it. Uh... There we go. It's raining. Yes, level nine. A drift bloom. Oh no. Um. Who has dark moves? Shrudel. It look like when we tear a format. Oh, it's got a big skull on its back. Cool. Uh oh, focus energy. I should be able to kill it before it actually unleashes the energy, though, right? There we go. Oh no, aftermath. Dang, that would level. Cool, okay. Marie. You ready? Okay. Let's go back here and we'll do this again. We'll set up the uh, room. Print the link code. All right. UWQH0Y. And we are going to use. Brutal. There we go. If it's like in the sword to shoot, it should be anywhere. Yeah, like what Fong said. You should be able to be anywhere as long as you can put in a link code. There's Pong. Two more minutes. Waiting on Eric. And one more person, if one person wants to join as well. And then hopefully we'll take out this uh, slowpoke and capture him. He's a fairy type, huh? Or is it just his Terra form is fairy type? Is that what it is? That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, right. This is like peaceful. You could like just fall asleep. Yeah, I noticed in the top right corner, Pong, it has like a little like, I think it's a fairy symbol.
Hurry, Eric, you're running out of time. I can cancel and restart it. Ah, there you are. Alright, anyone else? Ah, oh, and there's Andy. Just in time, I was about to hit the start raid battle button. All right, here we go. I, we should be better this time, right? I have poison moves and stuff. We got toxicity. Yeah, and Annie's poison, good. Oh man. Well that hurt. Oh man, that timer went down real quick too. Whoa, dang Pong. What happened? We are catching this slow poke. Cool. Did my ass did my ass spray you that too? Because I use acid spray as well. Maybe that's what happens. We just acid sprayed him down to where he had like no defense. Sweet, that went so easy. Meanwhile, I was busy trying not to die. Cool. Well now I got a slow poke. Gonna be like slow and dopey. It takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. Yep, sounds right. Three twenty-four. Wow. Oh, and it's all gone. Hey, there's the gas station up there. Let's catch a Marie. Good. And we'll throw a Pokeball out and I gotta catch all these things. I gotta get my Pokedex filled up. Sword and Shield, we did a really good job playing through, like filling the Pokedex, so. Hopefully we can do the same thing playing through this. Cool. Fletching those Ember. Switcheroo. Which one's Switcheroo? User trades held items with the target faster than the eye can follow. Would I want that at all? I don't think I want that at all, right? Sure, yeah, there's a lot of variety in the Pokemon here. Like, I have a variety. It's not just like I feel like... In some games, I feel like I have a lot of flying or a lot of normal types or something. Or even a lot of grass. In the first gen, you could find a lot of grass Pokemon, but no fire or water Pokemon early on, you know? It is cool. I can jump up these. Look at this herd of Mareep. Oh, 
There's another thing over here. Pokemon around. What are you? A dog? Mashif. Mashif? Like a mastiff? Um, I don't know what type it is. I'll bite it. Okay, so. Oh, scratch. Critical hit, okay, cool. We'll th try a Pokeball next. Oh, I'm still on my mount thing, that's cool. All right, I wonder what that is. What type is it? Fighting? Fire? Dark. Always scowls in an attempt to make opponents take it seriously, but even crying children will burst into laughter when they see Mastiff's face. Hmm. There's a lot of dog Pokemon that are dark types. Hmm. I kind of want to on my team. Should I get rid of the mouse? Or the electric type, maybe? White puppy's dark. I don't know. They just like... What? Houndor and Houndoom. Right? They're dark. Uh, Mightyena, Poochina, those are dark, right? Um, what else is there? I can't think of any more right offhand, but I just feel like a lot of them are dark. Oh, yeah, Absol. I missed that one. All right, we won't use this right now. A lot of dogs are evil in Japanese because it's an evil type, not a dark type. Wish I could fly. A lot of stuff on the ground now. A lot of stuff. There's a hop-up group. It's almost like a, uh, a horde. Well, if it's snowing a lot in places, make sure you guys are being safe. What's this one? This one a special one? Um, what is it? Oh, is that a sh Le Leo? Is that what it is? I'm gonna let Leo, but he's gonna be a ghost type. I'll try it. I don't have a lit Leo. I thought about a Shinx as well, but I think it's a lit Leo. And if that's the case, we're gonna go with this Mastiff. Use him. No, I don't think it looks like a Shinx. That's why I was like looking at it. I'm not sure if like more different looking Shinxes. You know what I mean? Uh, if I saw a shadow for a Wiglet, I probably wouldn't think that it was a Wiglet. You know what I mean? I'd be like, what is this? Oh, wait for a second. If not, we'll just fill with randoms and see what happens. 
once you get past Gen 3. There's, I mean, how many Pokemon are there now? Over a thousand, right? Like before this game came out, we were at 900 and something. Is that what Arceus put us at? Arceus didn't put us over a thousand, did it? I think with Arceus, we were in 900 and something, I think. I think before Arceus, we were at like 898 or something. And with this game, I'm not even sure. Trying to catch them all. We're trying to catch, we're trying to fill the Pokedex as much as we can. I may work with some people on trades and stuff. Google says we're at 1,008 now. We still in the 900s. I think we're at 1,000 now. So here's the tricky part too. Do you count all the variances as different Pokemon? Like sure, Wiglet. You can count Wiglet different, right? Um, but like, is Vulpix and Alolan Vulpix different or are they the same? And then to go further than that, you have, uh, you have Zigzagoon and Lanoon, then you have Obstagoon. Which Obstagoon's new, so do you just count that one, or do you count the two dark Pokemon leading up to it? You smash your pass soon? I mean, if we did something like that, uh, I could always break it up by generations or something. Alright, I'm ready. I'll hit it at 20 seconds. You don't count regional variants? So, do you not count, like, Zagoon and Lanoon, but you count Obstagoon? Like, you don't count the two Farfetch's, but you count Surfetch, right? Thank you to Melanie for getting me this peppermint hot chocolate. It's very sweet of her. Also, thank you, uh, Dark Ewan? Uni? Dark Uni? Thank you, Dark. Look at all the animals. I'm gonna home claws first. Damn, hurt. And Pong and I went for the same strat. Oh man, his headbutt killed me. Why is he focusing me? So strong. Good, his special attack's falling, but it doesn't help me too much. Um I'll just lick him. Don't head up me again. No. Oh man, I'm knocked out for longer too. I assume they just have the same kind of image above their head each time. It's not like it's different. Like if it's a ghost, it's a ghost like this. If it's grass, it's little flowers and stuff. Ooh. Ooh, ooh we're almost done. One more hit. Come on, stun tank. Hit him. Lick him. Ooh, wait. Can I? Nope. No, please hit him. One of you randoms. Dude, just a little damage. <gasps> Pong's back. Go Pong. My timer's running out. He just needs a little flick. Oh, good. Yeah, breathe on him, right? He's almost dead. Ow. 
That was a close one. Catch him. That's cool. Catch. Cool. Thank you, Pong. All right, let's head to the gym. Hopefully, this crunching isn't too loud. I know it's like right in the mic. Um, did we get a boy or girl at Leo? They evolve differently depending on if they're boys or girls. Kind of like lions, right? Female lions look different. What's that? Does this hurt? Oh, I can jump real far. Cool. You can't hear the crunching? Okay, good. I wasn't sure how loud it would be being right next to the mic. I like that I can just see if shinies are in the area. Let's battle. Or is it? Uh, Cricketot. Cricketot. Angel the Courier. Now my terror size thing's back. Very good. Um... Hmm. Lechonk. Let's go, Lechonk. This one needs to be my tanky boy. You just have a chonky team. Get like a Snorlax, get a hip out on. Let's use this. What happens when we Terra form him? Snorlax, like Chonk, Hippodon, who else is big boys? Hey, Hariyama. Oh, it's like a little diamond ring. Super Chonk. They call me Mr. Oh man, he didn't get hard enough coming. How long does this day going, I wonder? He is honing up his paws. Now he won't know what to do. How are these hit? Critical hit. Lead chunk is laid down. It's almost like he was crying. Um, who's good against this dude? Wiglet. Let's bring in the Wiglet. Let's try a sand attack. If we can lower his accuracy, then it won't matter how hard he hits. 
It won't matter how many own claws he has. Oh, he raises his accuracy. Never mind. I was thinking it raises his attack. He's too much slapped in. Oh, Ooh, lower speed. That's good. You guys, tough, tough dog. Let's try thunder shock and paralyze him. With the speed down, maybe we can be a little faster here. This guy is level fourteen. Yeah, paralyze him, please. It didn't paralyze, no. Oh, it did paralyze. It just wasn't until after the. Okay. Oh, it was because of the bite. Never mind. Well, at least we got the paralyze off. That was the goal we wanted. We'll do acid spray with our mouse. And then we're going to head to the Pokemon Center. Because he's paralyzed, good. And his special defense went down, so this should hit and do four damage. Good. If he doesn't move again, we're fine. Yes! Alright. Um, one more acid spray. Good job, little mouse. All right, what they got left? Yeah, I think they have one more Pokemon. Mud Ray. Um, with Mud Ray, we'll just bring in Sprigatito. All right, over this works. Uh, Magical Leaf. Good. Oh, don't kill me in one hit and we're fine. Oh, he added the berry or whatever. Yeah, I think we should be okay. There we go. Cool. Ooh, quick attack instead of tackle? Yeah, why not? Oh, instead of scratch? Because that's a 40 and this is a 40, but it's faster, so. Yep, we'll take that. That was the toughest fight we've had yet. Well, except for this Snorlax, or uh, Slowpoke. Two thousand, wow. Okay, let's... Is that the Pokemon Center I want to go to? Oh, there's one. And there's the gym over there. So this part right here seems a little sluggish, but I don't know if it's, it's sluggish or if it's just the way he's supposed to move. But we are going to go uh, heal up. Do you need both controls to play, or do you primarily use one? Um, I mean, you use this one to move around. This one does most everything else for me. I want to see what some of these guys evolve into, but we're not quite there yet. Charge up my Terra Orb, good. Uh, you may sometimes see Pokemon icons on your map. When you do, you may be able to find those Pokemon in that area, so try to search them out. What's this? Let me talk to this guy. Nope, 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 not that one. Can I hop off? I 
All right, I need to defeat five trainers. Mm. Sweet. Dude, I hope we got an evolution in this. That'd be great. Like at least, I mean, him and Pincer at least got um, Mega Evolutions, but you can't use them anymore. Um, and I always felt bad that like Scyther, like Scyther and Pincer were like the bug Pokemon back in Gen 1, and then you couldn't just, like, there weren't any evolution things or anything for them. Like Scyther could go to Scizor, but then Heracross was just Heracross, you know? What is that? A cricket? I don't know what that is. What are you? Where'd he go? All right. All right, what do you guys think? Should we take on the gym? I did enjoy the Mega Evolutions. I thought they were cool. All right, I don't know if we've saved or not, so let me save before we go in here. Actually, let me maneuver my Pokemon first. I think I want to start with Fletchling. Mm, I might actually want to bring Lit Leo if he's high enough level with Ember because against Bug Pokemon, he should be pretty good. We'll get rid of Wiglet. Um, flying Bugs might be a thing, so I might want to keep that. Hmm. I think I'm good with this group for right now. What moves it? Does Lit Leo have? And it's go. Got Ember. That's the main thing I need. Thank you, Cool Kirby. And Lucas, thank you for uh, for stopping in. Alright. Let's check out this gym. I have all kid team, okay? Don't get your hopes up, Dora. Ironically, we also have um a mouse and a bird. Which I believe kitties eat. Hmm. Hey Aaron. Came to see the gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yep. I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Cool, thank you. Uh, I'm so glad you're aiming to be a champion, too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. All right, well, let's uh, check out this. Careful you don't end up rolling a Smoliv instead of an Olive Ball. What? Welcome to Cor Cortando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Aaron, yes? Great. In order to face gym leader Katie, I almost said Kitty, you'll first need to pass a gym test. Here at the Contondo Gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Contondo. Isn't this based on, like, Italy or something like that? Is that right? We've held the olive harvest festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Spain. Oh, okay. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. 
The staffer over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules in further detail. North of the town. Okay. Let's go roll an olive ball. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. And then we'll take on our first gym. And we'll still have some time too, I think. We won't be done then. Uh, let's see, where do we go? What's this? All right, um, where am I looking for? There's a psychic gem. Well, they said to go to the north of the town, so let's just head north. I can't jump over that, really? Oh, here we are. Was this soccer? Welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. The gym test about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now that you've, you're all filled in, are you ready? I guess. Great. Put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. I am Koopa. You're talking about Badonkagonk? There was not. We had to postpone it because of uh, uh, some sicknesses in the wave cave. And we will get back to that Wednesday at 12 p.m. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Um, which way do we go? This way? take the shortcut here. I'll just push it over this. How about that? <laughs> oh. I'll battle you. Let's go. I need a more XP anyway. I don't know how strong the gym uh, leader is. Venonat! Dude, if Venonat got a change, that'd be cool. Ooh. Let's terrestrialize and peck them. I want to see what a flying terrestrialize looks like. Why am I cheating? Uh, balloon. That makes sense. Oh, are you gonna kill him? Mm -mm. I'm just safe. Let's do an ember. That should finish it off. Oh, and the money. I should go fight the other person, too. Even the Smoliv can tell how strong you are? Oh, is that what those are? I thought they were voodoo. I didn't realize what they were. I want to fight this one. Just for the money and the levels. Esmeralda. 
Ooh, a cricket room. That should be tougher than a Venonat. Cricketune. Mm, we're gonna use Ember. Because he's growling our attack down, and I believe Ember is special attack, right? I don't think it's physical. Good. Good! Makes his attack lower. One minute. Come on, pin it off. Finish him. There we go. He only had the one, right? Or she did? Yeah, one level. Back with chocolate milk. Awesome. Enjoy your chocolate milk. Small of... All right, um, and then we can just kick this straight on in, right? Aya, aya, yes, easy peaks. We passed. Okay, I was worried there. Long black. For that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare gym tasks officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report to result lobby staffer to the gym. Battle Katie. Oh man. I didn't even see you. Pound or something. Sweet kiss. Wake up. Okay, hopefully this one will wake up and I'll attack him. There we go. Almost there. Yep, I avoided it while I was asleep. Pretty Pretty good. Quick attack might finish him off. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get back over to the Pokemon Center. Um, instead of what? Who was it? Who learned much shot? Oh, the Chong. Uh, let's give it a Tail Whip. Give him Mud Shot. Eggs like the mud, right? No, jump. I still want to know what that little cricket looking thing is. Please heal me. Alright. Hopefully our team will be in good enough shape to take on the gym leader. You guys think we'll do good? Do well.
be I can swim. Right. Excited for my first gym. Oh, look at those Vivians. I love the color. I need one of them. Big congratulations for me for clearing the test. Earn the right to challenge a gym leader. Best of luck. The sugar bug? Sure. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, it's a bug gym. Look, there's their Vivian. Eat up, my little Vivian. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, don't forget to introduce myself. Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. I'm sure I said that right. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of Cortando Gym right now. Okay, that makes more sense. Forgive me. My name's Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cortando. Main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. 80% same will be the first try, huh? I don't know what the levels are. I don't know what Pokemon we're going to have. I don't know how many Pokemon they're going to have. Oh, it's called Nimble. Okay. You will be in for more of a pain if you do. Okay. We are not going to terrorist the lies yet. Double kick. I'm flying, so that should be fine. We'll do another peck. And depending on what the next Pokemon is, I, I need to look and see how many they have. I think I'll terrorist the lies on the next one. I imagine we're going to fight a Vivian, and I want to be able to terrorist the lies for that. Tommy wants to learn to move Nuzzle. Yeah, sure. Um, let's use Nuzzle instead of... Uh, let's see, it's 20 to 40. Instead of Scratch, because I already got Quick Attack, and it's pretty much just as good. Ooh, who wants Poison Fang? Shroom? Shroom, shroom, what is it called? Shroodle. Hmm. You're a leer. Um, keep current Pokemon. I'm assuming Terrace to Lies will last for everything, so let's Terrace to Lies and Peck. Because this one's level 14, and I want to take it out quickly before I take too much damage for the final one. Yeah, every fight seems to have group XP, which is probably good considering how many Pokemon there might be in this game. Give him a good pack. Aw, oh, man. Oh, jeez. I'll just do a quick attack. Teddy Ursa? 
I'll keep them in for now, I guess. Why do they have a Teddy Ursa and a Bug Gym? That's weird. That we're doing. All right, interesting. Mm. Now this is typing change. Is going to be super Is that what we did before? Do the slow poke get mattered? Yeah, there we go. Don't kill me. Yeah. Give another pack. Then the music. Kind of like Sword and Shield a little bit, but different. It's like Sword and Shield mixed Katamari Damacy. There we go. Good job, little Fletchling. Need to learn to move Flail. Um, I think I want Flail. Mm. Flail. Okay, so we know the Terraform thing lasts until they die then, right? It's not a turn-based thing or anything. I feel like that was a wise time to use it was during the gym battle. <laughs> We're evolving, guys. I'm gonna let it happen. What's it look like? Okay, interesting. Flora Gato. Oh, I can look around. That's cool. Huh. Definitely, uh, definitely wields the vine hidden beneath its long fur, slamming the hard flower bud against its opponents. Still just grass, though. No extra... No extra colors or typings. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. I feel like she should have Fido. Uh, I got one of these, but I don't know if this is the right one, so I'm going to push a button and maybe it adds a badge. Let me know if this works right, guys. Did I add the right badge? With one gym badge in possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as a frosting on the cake? Got a pounce. It's good for my cat, I guess. These two attacks by pouncing the target. This also lowers the target's speed stat. Once you found the TM during your travels, you can then use the TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go, then, until we meet again. Did I add the right badge? Did it work? Did I do it? Um, uh, stay there, phone. Let me look. You guys can fix the minutes for the next stream. One showed up. Okay, one showed up, but it's not the one I have. But that will just be what it looks like. Hey, Aaron, just had to tell you my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves, so be ready. How to go with the gym, by the way. Yes, haha, I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job. 
Um, I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got a map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm going to want to battle if we run into each other. Do we go to the next gym? Do we go somewhere close by? I don't know what I want to do, guys. There's so many options of what we can do. So we could... Like, what's that? Is that like a trainer? So we did one gym. What is this? A psychic gem. I want to go there. Stony Cliff. Giant stone moving on its own. Stone has big swiveling eye stalks. Maybe it's a stone journer. Let's fly there and make our way over that way. Oh, look at my little flying taxi loading thing. That's cool. Mm, we will heal. Okay. And then we can go to our and we will swap out some of our Pokemon. I'll bring back Wiglet instead of Fletchling. And, um... Hmm... I'm gonna take Mastiff. it is right here. There are tons of hills and cliffs up ahead. Be careful not to get lost, okay? Once you get through, you'll reach Artisan, the town of nature and art. use new Pokemon for the most part. Oh, I want a Makuhita. Oh, what's this guy? It's a little rock mushroom or something. Knackley. I'm gonna water gun it. I'm good, Nate. Cool, thank you. Bottom heater. Gotcha. Let's wrap it. Jeez, Wiggly takes damage. Whatever this is, it's supposed to be Minecraft.
as Salt, the Rock Salt Pokemon. It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. This species was particularly treasured in the old days as they would share precious salt. Hmm. Do I want this Pokemon? Hmm. I want to see what these guys evolve into. So, no, I'm going to hold off. Oh, wait, what are you? Hey, rookity. And a spoink. And a Akuhita. Mm. Sand attack. Oh, no, no, Kina. I was not thinking about that. Oh, he pecked me. Let's swap out for... Yeah, Palmy. Nuzzle Palmy. We'll nuzzle with Palmy. Good. Static is already done. Uh, maybe it's the tap with the Pokeball then. I like Rookity. That's an awesome Pokemon. Yes, this is on the Switch. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about it being a uh, chemical formula for salt. That's that's pretty interesting. That's a good way to do that. Brave and reckless, the white markings on Rookity's eyes intimidate faint-hearted Pokemon. Tiny bird Pokemon. Trying to fill the Pokedex, so we're trying to get gems. We're going to catch this Makuhita. I swore Hariyama looked weird. Oh no, I think I was going to kill me. Oh, it didn't. Wow. Oh, but I can't move. He's normal. He's dark. Pommy. Oh, and then he did Santa Tony. Well, you guys want me to put salt on some like chunk? That should help me capture him. Don't do any more. Stop it. Oh my gosh, don't don't kill call me. Be done. Be done. Jeez. That's close. Let's just throw a pokeball. He's paralyzed. I hit him once. There we go. Maku, he has sweat. Why? I think it's very hard to look so we might have to try to level him up later. Okay, is that all the new Pokemon that were in this area? Here's the salt Pokemon. We got Rookie. Oh, yeah, that's a Spoink. No. Can I run? This Wiglet's gonna die. Good. I like the books as a Pokedex, too. It's kind of neat. Um. Mm -hmm. 
No, let's just heal him. Bag. Potion. There we go. Uh, let's just blink. Him with sand attack a timer too, so he can't hit me. Hopefully, oh, there's confusion. That didn't work. seems to work really well. Wiglet does not seem the best. He doesn't wig enough. His diglet dig and wiglet wig. Let's capture him. I like to just sit on my mount. Like I just ride this uh, Coridon. Is that how you say it? Cost boink. Boink will die if it stops bouncing. The pearl on his head amplifies its psychic powers. Yeah, did you guys know that his bouncing is what keeps his heart pumping? And if he stops bouncing, then his heart stops pumping, so he does die. Pokemon, the more you know. Move, Rickley. I want that. Get out of the way. Thank you. All right, where are we? Okay, I think we're trying to get over here. So let's head towards this one. What is that? Like a shiny Jigglypuff. Go, oh, Lechong. Oh, it's a Terra Jigglypuff, huh? Water? You cannot catch a Pokemon while it's Terra Tone. Parastalize. You will need to reduce its HP and break through its transformation first. Only then can you catch it. Okay. Mud shot. Mm. Echo voice. Didn't do a whole lot. She's stuck with much shot. We should swap it, I don't know. damage you have to do to it. I don't want to kill it, right? Okay, there we go. Alright, throw up the ball. Let's catch it. Oh, you're starting your Pokemon journey now, Leewick? 
Awesome. Do you know what starter you want to go with? When it chews eyes, eyes waver, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. All right, good job, LeChonk. All right, let's, oh, what's this way? Young Goose. All right, let's just, uh, oh, there's something. Shinx. I want a Shinx. All right, Lechonk, you might go down here, but if if you don't go down right away, you're gonna do a much shot. Yes. Perfect shot. Ooh, and he's charging, which means he shouldn't do damage, and we can catch him next turn. And it's a girl. Very good. The extension and contraction of its muscles generate electricity. It glows when it's in trouble. No. Dang it, shakes. Run. Good. How do I like the game so far? Um, so far it seems good. Um, it's different, but the same, which is good. I think it's a good way to go about it. Slowly add more things till eventually it's at the point of, uh, like what some people want, like the whole MMO aspect. A lot of people want like a Pokemon MMO style game, and I think that could be really cool. But we should, we're probably trying to work towards that. What is that? Is it a monkey? Char Cadet? Uh, mud Shot? Okay. It is a fire Pokemon. Try Shrudel. Try Poison Fang. Don't poison it too badly. Ah, uh, Astonish didn't work, yes. All right, catch it. It exists, it's called Tim Tim. Well, if you realize Tim Tim is not a Pokemon MMO, so. Pokemon MMO doesn't exist. Temptem exists, which is not the same. Don't kill it. Stop. Dang. Dang. Well, I have to find another Char Cadet. I want to see what that is. It's here. Uh, all right. Well, Let's go heal because all the Pokemon are getting injured. We might have been better off getting that cadet if we had uh, had other Pokemon that we wanted to use. Ooh. 
Flora Gato. Man, I like it. It's green. Okay. Where else can we find one of these char cadets? Oh, what's going on now? Hey, Aaron. So, what I got is a Stony Cliff Titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area. Had to look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Made its way up high on a cliff or something. Nah, it's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. So, don't go falling off any cliffs or anything. Maybe just give your map, an app, your map app a look. If you're feeling stumped, it's pretty handy. Okay. Ooh, there's another spot for one of these cadet things. Um, uh, maybe it's up over here. Is that a minky? I think I saw a minky there. We're gonna go try to find this cadet over here somewhere. Hey, look at you. Oh, I want a shroomish. Dude, Breloom is so good. Not necessarily so good, it's just one of my favorites. Yeah, I can get the deer in a little bit. There's Go Goats. No, wait. Is that Skidoo? Not Go Goat. Go oh, Mega Drain. We're gonna try this. We'll go, Lechonk. I go voice him. I believe that good voice gets stronger every time you use it, right? Ah, uh, Miss Shroom, yeah, that was in the Nuzlocke. I'm not gonna get to use it. I'm too slow. And now he's leech seeking. Using everything I would like, I would use. All right, is that enough? Let's try it one more time. Good. Use leech seed again. And we can throw. Good. Throw a Pokeball. Yes! Good. Ooh, want to learn Aqua Jet. Okay. Mm. His attack's better than his special attack anyway, so yeah. We'll get rid of Water Gun and take uh, Aqua Jet. And we are going to go heal again. From stand places by day, it remains still in the forest shade. It releases toxic powder from its head. I'm excited to level some of these to see if there's any new things for some of these Pokemon. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, I wonder if that char thing's up over there. 
Ooh, I see a slack off on the list here. We get a slacking. Let's start climbing, I guess. I want charge of it. Nugget. If I look at my map. Like charge that should be like right here. I think. But I don't see him anywhere, so. Let's go look for the uh the rock titan. No. Mm -mm. Okay, man, he's level 20. We should battle some of these trainers, I think. Um, and with that, let's actually... Not boxes, but whatever. Let's move him up here. Use our Gato. And we'll battle some people and get some levels up before we go fight this Titan thing. It's either going to be rock, ground, or fighting, right? Most likely. Uh. Flamingos? I haven't seen any flamingos. Old school? What the heck is that? What typing are you? You're, are you grass then? Um, try magical leaf and see what happens. Let's try biting it. All right. Oh. Hmm. All right. So there's a new tentacle type of Pokemon. Energy room. What's that? Fake tears, okay, cool. Oh! Dang. Run away!
Okay. So we're supposed to go this way. The game does feel pretty big right now. I don't know if it feels smaller later. It feels like I have a lot of places to go and a lot of things to do. Hit this. There we go. This guy, girl. Dinner. Remind me of a game mechanic? Uh, what game mechanic did you want to remind me of? It's one I've already learned, right? Super effective. And it flinched, yes. Just bite it again. All right. We gotta find this guy. Where is he? Where's this Titan? Hey, okay. Let's try to capture one of these pony yards. Terrestrialize and bite it. He's a little stronger, so I want to do some more damage to him and capture him. Auto battling? I just don't have any things to. Right now, with me trying to capture a lot of Pokemon, I haven't been using it, but I suppose I could be using it to like grind up some Pokemon and stuff. Flinch. No flinch. All right, we're gonna use Magic Leaf then. That was a critical, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not having... It just doesn't feel like a glitches or anything, really. Like, nothing that's taken me where I'm like, well, that ruined everything. Oh, Torment messed up that. Okay, let's do Quick Attack. Can we catch him now? So far, I think it's been working pretty well. Oh no! Try one magical leaf and see what happens. Dang. The next Pokemon. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's use a nuzzle. Is on like ready to back him up? All right, maybe let's make it easier to capture him now. There we go.
Let's learn fight. We'll do fight. He's a duck type, right? His attack's probably higher than his special, so yeah. Let's get rid of Snarl then. Cool, cool. We're gonna need to go and revive stuff. On your will fierce fearlessly challenge even powerful foes in a pinch. It will cling to opponents and pierce them with the blades all over its body. There's a Pokemon Center right there. What are you? I'll come back to you. You stay right there. Don't leave. Um, Dunsparce. Oh, I guess I don't have this guy. That's gonna hurt. Let's try the Pokeball. Do I have a team planned out? No, I don't have a team planned out. I'm just kind of picking things either that I like or maybe that are new. I want to try to level stuff up. I want to fill up the Pokedex, but I also want to try to, like, just see what some of these Pokemon can do. Wait, who wants Covet? Can I get rid of Covet for you? There we go. Ooh, big. Oh, interesting. I think Dick. care about donations you share? I don't know. I didn't see a donation. Usually if something's not said, it's because we just don't mm, see it, I suppose. I don't know where it came through or what you did, if it's if that's what you're referring to. As its third set of legs folded up, when it's in a tough spot, this Pokemon jumps over 30 feet using the strength of its legs. Nimble. I don't know what I called it earlier, but I don't think I called it nimble. That's cool. Okay. I wonder what it turns into. Oh! I did get the Pikachu gift. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, is that a rock? Oh, it's a Growlithe. All right, let's use my mud shot. Dang. 
lower speed. Mm, we'll try mud shot again. Maybe I'm faster now. Yeah. And then I'll probably die. Oh, he used how? Good. Okay. Um, let's throw a. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll throw a great ball. No, not a Nuzlocke. I don't usually do Nuzlocke in my first playthrough. I haven't done too many Nuzlocke's overall. I'd like to do more in the future. Brave and trustworthy nature, it fearlessly stands up to bigger and stronger foes. All right, guys, we're down to the last hour. I need to go find this Pokemon Center and heal. Hyper Potion, cool, okay. What, who told you I'm having performance issues? Um, I mean, some of these things seem a little laggy. I need to get this crab, I need to get Pokemon Center and... Where we go, where we go? Yeah, like I'll do a challenge run whenever I know what Pokemon are in the game. Like right now, I still don't know all the Pokemon and the typings and stuff. Hey, some ghost Pokemon. Um, the next stream for me will be Monday at 6. Uh, the next stream for the channel should be, as long as Eric's good, tomorrow at, uh, I think, 2? I'm not 100% sure. As long as Eric feels well, he's going to try to uh, go a little longer because he didn't get the stream on Wednesday. All right, we got to go catch this crab. <laughs> what in the world? Um, it won't die from one bite, will it? Um, it's not. Oh, Close. Close. And it flinched. Hit him with the Pokeball. Take this, Shuppet. Um, people in chat have popped in saying that people are having bugs and issues and stuff, but... So far for me, I haven't had, but I, I don't feel like I've gotten really far into the game. I'm kind of taking my time a little bit. Let's feed on feelings like envy and malice. It's upright horn catches the emotions of people. Interesting, I didn't know that. Shop it. All right, can I? Uh, change position to here, and where are you at, little birds? There you go. Now catch one of these birds, I'm gonna nuzzle it. Get one of these squawks. Squawkabilly, that's what it's called? Dude, it looks just like Squawk from uh, Donkey Kong. Like, not just just, but too close to know. All right, nuzzle should do some damage and paralyze, but shouldn't kill it. And then we will just throw a Pokeball. And then we can heal right there. Now it seems like a mixture between like Sword and Shield and Arceus. Like it's not quite as stealth, dodge, rolly, action RPG like, but it's more so than what uh, Sword and Shield it was. So I'm liking it, it's pretty cool. Someone evolve. These Pokemon prefer to live in cities. They form flocks based on the color of their feathers and they fight over territory. Interesting, interesting. And it's green. No, I'm not gonna, no, I don't wanna name. Cancel. I don't wanna name Squawkabilly. I might add it to my party though. 
I'm not the most impressed with Wiglet, but I want to know if it evolves. But it might need an item. Get rid of Wiglet. There we go. Now we got a Billy. Squawkabilly. That's different. Dazzle. Oh, that's good at payback one first, I guess, right? Can we capture 14 with Paralyzed? I think we can, right? Look at those motorcycles back there. It is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds on to it could wind up missing. You guys ever heard the stories of Drifloons? It's a pretty messed up story, Drifloons. They will take children. Arceus covers it a little bit too. Huh. Cool, okay. Um, are we, I want that crab. Where's that crab at? It kind of looks like it has wings, but really the back one's just a tail. And if the tail started moving around and stuff, that might be kind of weird. All right, I want this crab. Give me the crab. Cloth, huh? Okay. Let's try to nuzzle it. Good. Okay, Dude, this thing's... Oh! I think it's pretty big. Mm, let's try to dig. If I can dig against a rock Pokemon, that should do well, right? It looks like a Naruto puppet. <laughs> I guess so. I get what you mean. All right, that did not do uh, as much damage as I wanted. Leaf, kill it. Let's bite it. Made a flinch. Um, quick attack just to take it down a little bit more. Okay, we're in the orange at least. Anger shell. Oh no, his attack rose. His special attack rose. What? What? Oh, but he loses defense, huh? And special defense. Hmm. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Good. Let's try a great ball. Good.
Cloth hangs upside down from cliffs, waiting for prey, but Cloth can't remain in this position for long because its blood rushes to its head. Do I want Cloth on my team? No, we won't get away until we can level some stuff up. Alright, we need to go back to the Pokemon Center because we're hurt. That big crab Pokemon hurt us a lot. The biggest bummer of all this guy is that I'm excited to play this game. But I won't get to play it again until Monday once I'm done with this stream, so that's too bad. But I'll hold out and wait. It'll be fun and it'll be fun next week. Oh, I don't want to buy stuff. The mic's not working. Did I do something to it? Is that better? Did it just start? I might have moved maybe and maybe it's connections off. Now it's good. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like this right. Look at that. That's cool. I mean, you always run through the. Is that Mark Crow? I need all these Pokemon, but I want to get further along. Battle this guy. Happy. No, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Now if I want, I gotta go back and heal for it, don't I? Huh. It's like I pulled out like a wand or something. It works. Yeah, good. No! I thought because it was attacking, it was going to work. Let me go back from up. Dang it, go go. I guess while we're here, I mean, magical leaf, yeah. Oh, you got sap sipper. Is 
Bite him. Good. Bite him one more time. All right, and then we'll capture him. Ridiculous now. I guess so. They've just increased. I mean, some of them still just look like animals. They're not like Digimon yet. Digimon has some crazy ones. Till recently, people living in the mountains would ride on the backs of these Pokemon to tra traverse the mountain paths. I think we rode one of those in X and Y. Get my Terra thing back, and we're gonna go find that Titan. I'm hoping to at least get the Titan found before uh, before the end of stream. Hopefully, we're strong enough for it. I don't know how strong you gotta be for this. I don't know how the levels work with it all. Okay, so it's over this way. What's this little spot here? Can't make it up there. Or Corio? It is. Ooh, what's in this? Hippo toss? I don't know who that is. A different Oricorio? Oh, did it go straight in? I want to pick a Pokemon. No, I don't want to use my Gato. Dang. Hit. I hit a different button than what I normally hit. I want to at least see what this Pokemon is, though. Ooh. Hold on. Hopefully the mic's still good. Uh, what is that? Relor? Kind of reminds me of the tarantula a little bit, but I don't think it is. How does magical leaf work? Good. Oh, dang. I want to see what it looks like when it's not Terran form. Okay, catch it. Okay, yeah, it's just a dung beetle. Interesting. Lick. Relor. Can I look at it from different angles?
It sounds crappy. Maybe a little crappy. It's the rolling Pokemon, guys. This Pokemon creates a mud ball by mixing sand and dirt with psychic energy. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. It's not a dung beetle. So will he be a ground Pokemon or will he end up being like a psychic Pokemon? Like an orb beetle. All right. Excuse me. I feel like we're getting close. I'm going to that's a tight. Oh, here we go. Found it. Let's go, Gato. Cloth, the Stony Cliff Titan. Let's terratalize and super magic leaf. Yes, do it. I don't know what level it is. Flower power. All right, he's going to hit me hard now. That did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That one, not so much. Uh, let's do another magical leap. We should be good. I think we're supposed to kill it, right? What? Oh, I wasn't going to escape anyway. No. Oh no. Oh no, your terror wore out. Oh, oh, where's he going? What? Grab Pine cloth began eating something. Oh no. He's gonna get power. Aaron, you found it. And that thing's a stony cliff titan. No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Aaron. Uh oh. He's angry and I've already terraformed. Ooh, I can terraform again. Good. He's got a shelter. Okay. Shelter. Let's serve up a helping of defeat on the half. I don't know what he said. Can't retreat, right? 
What's Shelter gonna do? Alright, respectable. Now comes all the buffs. Alright, one more magical leaf. Oh, good, it wasn't to me. There we go. Aww. Need a Titan Cloth. Flatter? Um, which one's flatter? It uses the target but raises their special. So it's kind of like swagger, but different. Hmm. No, I don't want it. Good kid, he says to her. Kitty didn't do it. Good thing I have a grass type. Water would have worked too. But these Titan Pokemon are yeesh. I sure don't like having something so tough out to get me. But somewhere in here, there's more of that Herba Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. Okay, so we didn't kill it. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. No way. That looks like Urbica, Urbica, Mystica, Mystica, Urbica? I don't know, what, whatever it's called. Urban Mystica, exactly how it looked in the book. Sweet Urban Mystica. Yes, we actually found one. And it's all thanks to you, Aaron. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps with to aid digestion. So it's great for stomach aches, too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. Get who to eat some? All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Get who to eat what? Here you go. An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. And I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge. Made it myself using a replica of the gym badge. See? Stony Cliff Titan defeated. Path of Legends. Hey, I a badgy thing. I hit. Mm. I don't know what all these buttons mean. This one. What'd that do? Did it break it? Hey, put a thing up there. I don't know if it's the right one or not. But all that will be fixed uh, next week. Thank you, Malik, for the gifted sub. Hello, Doctor. How are you? Look at that sub. Oh, he wants a sub, too. And it has a sandwich. It's going to have its ball whenever it wants. Hey, now, no. That's not for you. No. Do you want to give your sandwich to Koridon? Um, here you go. He ate my sandwich. Hey, I went through all the trouble making that for you and you just give it away? 
like a submarine sandwich. Hope you realize that that's all there was. So now there's none left for you. Oh, come on. Now you're making me feel like I'm a selfish jerk here. Here you go. You can have half of mine, but you'd better save every last bite. You already ate the whole thing? Ooh, what's he gonna do? We'll be able to dash now, huh? Hey, is it me or is this thing sort of powered up somehow? Whoa, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. Uh, if th they had, if they had that big an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. What is his goal? What is he trying to do? I bet they'll come as super handy for a treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Mm -mm, something, something not fitting right. You both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy everything up. Have a go home and eat a sandwich. Oh, don't you worry about helping after battling the Titan. You've earned a break. Just leave this all to me, though I'd be much obliged if you'd get a start on searching out the remaining four Urban Mysticas for us. I really owe you. What's he doing? Okay, the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? You can come out now. Hmm. What is he hiding? Hello, Aaron. This is Sada. I detect that Corridon has regained some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speed while you're riding upon it. Now, if you have, if you can have Koridon dash ahead by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree while dashing, the Pokemon lurking up among the branches will fall down. Hope you will continue to explore. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. So you got your own path using your map. Whenever you find a curiosity peaked, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take good care of Koridon. There's my dash. All the Krabbies. Okay, where do we go now? I really want to get one of these char cadet things. Let's go find one of them. And is char cadet hard to find or what? I almost felt my Cheerios. Where are you? Give me gold coin. Material accidentally dropped. What? What? Okay. Is that like a collectible that I found? Oh, yeah, I made it. Oh.
Ooh, seed bomb, huh? Hmm, what's my stats? I have a higher attack than I do special attack. And that's an 80, but that never misses. Let's get rid of home claws. No. I boost attack and that, though. That's attack. That's attack. Hmm. Now just get rid of Magical Leaf. I just like that it never misses. 42 to 35, though it seems like my attack's going to be higher anyway. How am I doing? I'm doing well. Oh, what does Ask for Advice button do? Wants to forget Home Claws and learn Seed Bomb, huh? All right, do that. That was my first thought anyway. First time here on live stream? Well, welcome. Glad you could join us. Um, who dig? Who wants dig? Get dig instead of mud shot. Things are going well. We have a little bit of stream left. It's been a longer stream day today. <gasps> Is that it? That's it. We are going to catch you. I'm going to bite you. Ooh, dang, that was close. All right, Shark Cadet. Get in the Pokemon! No! Oh. This is not a great ball. I want this Char Cadet. There we go. I might put this on my team, whatever this thing is. Maybe instead of, uh, I don't know what. Burnt charcoal came to life and became a Pokemon. Possessing a fiery, a fiery fighting spirit, Char Cadet will, become, uh, will battle even tough opponents. I wonder if it's going to be like fire and ghost then or something. We're going to add it to the party. Doesn't seem cool. Mmm. Gotta get rid of Lechonk. And get rid of Squawkabilly. You want to get rid of Squawkabilly. Thank you, Leewick, for the gifted sub. And thank you, Malik, for the gifted sub. All right. Well, we got Char Cadet, so that's cool. Got Dig. I'm glad we came down here. All right. Where else we got to go? Oh, one. So is it marking what we've done in the order we've done it then? Place. I want to look down here. There we go. Um, the grass gym. Yeah, let's go there. What's that? Okay. That's a palmy. I already have palmy. I'm a ladder. Let's 
It's a long ladder. All right. Metal this guy. Metal and get some get some levels up. Especially we're gonna go take on some gems. Ghastly. Uh we can bite him. Very nice. Got any other Pokemon? I like to know that Ghastly's in the game. Ooh, a Murkrow. Sometimes just hanging out, doing stuff, walking around, whatever. Good, he's paralyzed. One more thunder shock should take care of him. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. Let's, uh, hey, I think that's a gym right there. That's gotta be you. Okay, I guess we can't battle you. Anything up here? Uh, that's okay. Or a Corios, or a Corios. All right, we'll heal. What do we want to take against a fire gym? Is that what it was? Hmm. What do we want to put with a fire gem? I feel like I want to take Gato just because he's my best one. Wiglet might be good. Where's Wiglet? There he is. A slope up to be good. Think it's too weak. Um, yeah, let's just take these guys for now. We will move this guy up here. And let's go ahead to the gym and see what we gotta do. Jim's right over here. I believe it's the... I don't know. I marked the fire gym, I thought. I think it's where I'm going.
it's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. What a weird coincidence. Just sun turn. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh wow, weird. Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. And these to the mix. Add these to the mix. Get 100% set to go. No problem. I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Brassius, you'll need to pass the gym test. Here, that means completing the game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The so artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nu uh, nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up 10 of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn and you pass the test. All right. Leave the gym, turn right, and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. All right. Get out of here and have fun. Maybe this is the grass gym. But there's a Growlithe, so I don't know. There, look up to the Amazon Gym Sunflora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Sounds like the Sunflora is ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 of them, please bring them back here to the lawn. That's all for me for now. All right, let's go find some uh, Sunfloras, I guess. There's four. Take a little playground. This is cool. Can I climb this rock wall? No, oh, I can't. Bouldering, what's bouldering? Ah, there's one. There's another one. Make back here. Hold on, wants to fight? Why?
Just bite it again, I guess. I need them. Get them joining me, huh? There's one. All right, we need one more. There's one. Oh, all right. It's a, uh, what is it called? Floet? Is that right? From Flabebe? Well, I just have an arm again. Give me sunflowers. You know what? This might very well be a grass gym. That seems very grass-like to me. Well done on finding all of these sunflowers. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at the artisan gym and report the results. Yep, this is the, where is the fire gym that I was looking for? Oh, it was this. I see, I see. Okay, well let's uh, change up for grass gym then. A raid, thank you Zero Mist for the raid. Welcome everybody. Mm, I want to take this guy mm, and uh, Leo mm, and um, Take Scatterbug with me. And we're gonna take Rookity. I'm gonna move Fletchling up there. Are there any more Pokemon? I can fight real quick just to get a level or two. If I head this way. All right, what Pokemon are in the field? There's bound to be Pokemon in this field. A yellow of those pair of squawkabillies. Sling, cool. All right, hopefully this Pokemon trainer doesn't have too many Pokemon. May will be fine. I'm just worried we're not high enough level. I put in a lot of lower level Pokemon there. Um, there's the gym. Go with this. Quick 
Clear the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready? Yes, we'll go. All right. Let's see how this goes, guys. Oh. Challenger. Oh, he's a bear. Hmm. Why'd you do that? You did well to come this far. I'm Brassius, an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. Perception you displayed in finding Sun Flora was truly, oh, how should I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant god. Did I say that right? Avant god? I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk, we must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Trust that you are ready. It is time for our masterpiece to take shape. What's he holding? All right. Artist creation and destruction struggle, else your defeat will nourish stuff. Let's just do this and do a pet. This music's very different. Bonk, bonk, bom, bom, bom. Oh, so close. No, sleep powder. Well, that's not good. Gonna make a drain. Back again, and we'll wake up. Oh. Gonna mega drain me again, probably. That's what I would do. Wait till I wake up. Should be awake next time and I'll attack. Dang, I didn't wake up, really? Wake up! Come on, battle. There we go. There we go. All right. One Pokemon down. Cool. Some levels up. Scatterbug wants to learn Stun Spore. Good. Smoliv. Uh, we're going to keep the current Pokemon. Smoliv is like a little... Badoo. Looking Pokemon. Um, let's pack this one too. Very nice. Critical hit. How many's he got? Two more? One more? Two 
Jim Lee sent out Suda Wudo. That's not a. If I switch, I'm gonna lose. I guess I'll bring out Valora Gato. Truly Wudum. Ah, uh, he's gonna terraform it into a, a grass type. All right. Just increase the pace, huh? What are you gonna do? Trailblaze, what's that? Okay. Let's bite it. Need a flinch. Good flinch. He's gonna get damage in. The speed keeps going up. It's not great. I think I'm going to. Super Potion. And then we're gonna see Bomb it again. bomb again the normies what's up normies how are you guys doing what are you guys up to who was playing today i think i saw nikki playing stuff yesterday but i don't know who was playing stuff today Do I want this attack? Just give it a leer. Playing that at one point as well. Avant God. He was very upset. <gasps> Scattered. Is it still just a spupa? Still just a spupa. If Rufflet attacks this Pokemon by pecking at it, it will retaliate with its sharp fur and poisonous black powder. Chris, Siraj, and Mickey were doing Modern Warfare 2. Ah, so they were playing some Call of Duty. I play a little Call of Duty myself. Actually, I did that recently. I only did a little bit of multiplayer at the end, but we did through all of the story part. Patterns of your moves. The 
minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in the world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? Okay, sure. Yeah. Another I'm just this button. It gave me a little thing down there in the bottom corner. I don't know if it's the right one. We'll get that fixed later. But we've done one Titan and two gyms, so that's cool. We should probably focus on getting gyms done sooner, maybe? I don't know. I would also like to offer this. Trailblaze. Cool. User attacks suddenly as if leaping out from tall grass. The user's nimble footwork boosts its speed stat. My inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. We did it. Would you be the Aaron I've been hearing so much about? Who are you? Mona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to start you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the elite four of the Pokemon League. I also teach a class at the academy. So do tell me, young Aaron, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be a champion? Fun, I guess. Asked and answered. Thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldean history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometimes. It would be thrill I would be thrilled to have you attend. Anyone else get like Snape vibes from this guy? Do come along to my art class. We're not trying to eat all the Pokemon, Pong. It is not the goal. All right. Language arts, language classes now available. I should, I guess, take some classes. I guess, right? I haven't taken any classes yet. Oh man, all right. What I believe it's like, yeah, it is like five o'clock now, guys. We have been going since about 10 o'clock. It has been, it has been a long streaming day. We've gotten a lot of things done. We took out two gyms. We uh, met some new Pokemon, some new people, got to lay the land a little bit. It's been a lot of fun so far, but uh, I've been here since like 10. Two gyms, one Titan. Yes, Pong. You watch me play Pokemon all day? <laughs> well, I will be back on Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, for about three hours playing uh, Monday night and Tuesday night. Eric will be back tomorrow playing God of War. So that's the plan right now. But no, I've uh, so far I've enjoyed this. The, uh, the general feel of the game feels kind of Sword and Shield, Arceus kind of comp combined together. Um, a lot of new stuff going on. There's a lot of new Pokemon, and I don't, I don't know which ones I should be playing with to try to evolve and get them set up and everything. And uh, once I have them evolved all the way, I'll probably switch over and just try to keep going through. I just want to keep seeing the new Pokemon and whatnot. So, um, 
I'm sure there's a lot. I'll try to keep away from spoilers as much as I can. It's going to be a little harder now that the game's actually out as opposed to just leaks and trailers and all that. So, um, how's the game performance-wise for me? Um, it has a little sluggish feel, um, especially when I'm on the mount. But uh, otherwise, it's not too bad. I think it seems to play pretty well. I know a lot of people in chat said that there were some issues and stuff so far for glitches and bugs and whatnot, but I think it's been pretty cool. Um, the, uh, what's been my favorite new thing so far? I like that there's a lot more going on in the world and how open it is and that we can choose to take out, basically we can do with this Titan legendary kind of thing. It's almost like the, uh, so it feels like this. It feels like we have gym battle stuff we have to do. So we have to get all our gym badges. It feels like we have Team Rocket that has bases that we need to take out and whatnot. And then it also feels like we have the uh, Kahuna kind of thing with getting the herbs. Like in Sun and Moon, we didn't have gems. We had these Kahuna battles, but you had like totem Pokemon you had to fight. And I feel like that's what the Titans are. The Titans are kind of like the totem Pokemons. And I like how we have a lot more to do. It's not just totem Pokemon battle of Kahuna. It's not just do these gems. It's not just find legendary Pokemon. It's like, here's the world. You go pick what you want to do and what order you want to do it. Because I think up until here, even, Sword and Shield, even, has been very linear. And this feels very open. So I, I, I like that the most, I think. Um, curious to see what Pokemon evolve into. Uh, I figure Wiglet will evolve into something because it looks weird right now. I don't know if it gets like a big Wiglet. I don't know if it gets multiple Wiglet. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Diglet that I have as well just turns into a Duck Trio normally. So it will be, it'll be cool to see like what these Pokemon turn into and what new, uh, whether it's the variants, like I haven't seen the Tauros yet. I want to get a Tauros, but either seeing the variants of different things or just finding the new Pokemon is always fun. Yes, yeah, so now my hardest task of the weekend is going to be not playing it today, tomorrow, and Sunday and waiting until Monday to play it with you guys. So, But uh, for you guys, uh, people that have been watching or that have been playing themselves, what do you guys think? Are you guys enjoying the game? Do you guys have any issues with it? Uh, do you have a favorite Pokemon? I kind of want to ask that, but I kind of don't because if you've found something that I haven't seen, like... The, it's kind of cool. I want to. I haven't messed with that one yet much, but I'd like to see what it can do. But I think so far the game has uh, a lot of potential and a lot of. I feel like it's going to be. This one might take me longer than a lot of other Pokemon games. I don't know. Yes, true, Pong. So um, make sure that you guys, um, if you're looking for people to play with, if you want to do raids um, and group up and do any. I don't know what all the co op options are. But we do have a Pokemon Discord channel that you can join. It's discord.gg slash blindwave. And inside that is a Pokemon uh, chat. And we have, you can just tag people and find groups and play the game together. Trade Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. You can do that all in there. And then also uh, make sure you guys follow the Pokemality channel. Uh, just type in Pokemality on YouTube. Um, right now it has some card uh, openings on it. There's a few of those, but there'll be some more of that. And also the highlights of... Um, Scarlet and Violet over the weeks will be going to that as well. So, and then some new uh, card opening videos and stuff too that haven't been released yet. I normally go for grass for a starter, but Quaxley just too darn cute. I do like Quaxley, his his uh, attitude. I liked. I also like the the crocodile's attitude too. Play, try to play as much as I can with the holiday season work coming up might be tricky. No, I understand, Leewick. Depending on what you do, holiday seasons usually always get very busy or crazy. Lei Chonk, a lot of people liking Lei Chonk. I want to see what Lei Chonk evolves into. I don't know if it's going to be like a mud ground pig thing, um, but is that then going to be too close to like a Hippodon or something? But I don't know. Hope you can find the breeding places and send you a duck. I would like to get and I don't think I don't think anyone's gonna be upset, right? If I end up trading and getting a Quaxley and a uh, Fuego Coco, Fuego Coco, is that what it's called? Huh. 
just to be able to see the starters, evolve them, see what they're like. Like, I want to have a favorite of these three. I just don't know which one it's going to be. I really don't want it to be like, uh, and I haven't really played it much, but black and white, I don't really have a favorite black and white. Um, they are all start okay. Probably my favorite's either Oshawott or Tepig, which is weird because I usually like the grass Pokemon. Um, but by the time they evolve, I don't really care for any of the three too much. So hopefully this one, I'll be like, oh, I love this one. Like Sun Moon, Rumblet's my favorite. You know, Gen 1, I like Bulbasaur. Gen 2, I like, uh, hmm, probably Totodile. Chikorita's okay. Um, Gen 3 is Mudkip's the best one, in my opinion. Gen 4 is really close. Probably Turtwig, just barely in the lead because it's a turtle and it's grass Pokemon, but I love Piplup and I love Chimchar. Um, and then, uh, I don't know about five. I like Rowlet. I like uh, probably Froakie. Like, there's always, like, at least one that I like, and I really want to like one of these guys, and none of them quite have me yet, but it just came out, and I've got time to kind of, like, let it sit and see what they evolve into, what their final forms are like, how strong they are, what kind of movesets they have. That'd be fun to do. And probably, uh, usually whenever I play these two guys, I end up playing some versus matches with my teams versus... Uh, viewers so if you guys have the game and want to play as well uh make sure you guys stop into the streams and at some point when we get to certain points i'll probably end up fighting against you guys just to have some fun and see how things go it's always fun to just battle other teams that's the whole point of pokemon right battle and have fun all right guys it is 5 15 so i'm gonna get going uh like i said make sure you guys follow pokemality uh, make sure you guys uh check out the discord channel so that you can uh Party up, group up, find friends. A lot of Wave Riders like to play these. There's a lot of people that talk in there. Um, I w might hop in there some. Maybe if you can, spoiler tag so I don't see like new Pokemon I don't know. It would be appreciative. So I guess I also won't be playing too much over the weekend, so it might not matter too much. So maybe I'll just stay out of there as a whole. But All right, well, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go home and uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend. Have a safe weekend. I know it's snowing in places, so make sure you guys are safe if you're driving, going anywhere. And uh, yeah, I'll be back on Monday. Eric will be back tomorrow. But at the very least, I hope to see you guys Monday for some more Pokemon Scarlet. So have a good one, everybody. See you guys later.